Good morning, Grenada, Cariacou, Petit Martinique, the rest of the Eastern Caribbean, and all those listening in Radio Land. I am CJ, and this is Real FM 91.9 and 91.5. We are broadcasting from Main Street Cities in beautiful and historic St. Patrick. Good morning. Good morning, CJ. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing okay, thank God. Good, good. Whenever you're ready, go right ahead. Okay, thank you. Hallelujah. Father, we just want to exalt your name. We just want to say this is the day you have made, and God help us even as we go through this day, we'll be conscious of you and we'll rejoice and be glad whatever might come our way. Father God, we thank you this morning that we have breath and we have life. We can move in you and we can have our being because apart from you, Lord, we are nothing in our own selves, oh God. But even as we come to you, just want to give you thanks for all the good things you would have done for us, all the mighty things you would have brought us through. And God, we say thanks today that we are in the land of the living where we can call upon your name. They say that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and are safe. We thank you, God, even as we, in this season of Lent, and we are just good turn our hearts to reflect on what you have so many thousands of years ago. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for, you know, bearing the gruesome pain, the agony and everything. You took it for us. It was not your sins that that take, take that caused you to go to the cross, but it was the sin of man when man fell in the Garden of Eden and all men who were born and are still being born are, are born in sin and shaping in iniquity. And we thank you because you when you went to the cross, you said it is finished. Man, redemption has been paid. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. But God has laid upon you the iniquity of us all. And God, you took that pain. You took that, you took that beating. And so many times around that time, that's the only time we reflect on what you would have done. But God, we pray that every day of our lives, we would think of the great sacrifice you would have made for us for redemption so that we can be saved from our sins. You said his name shall be called Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. And God, we thank you because even though we know you're no longer on the earth, but you are a risen Savior, we can rejoice in the fact that we have hope and we have we have confidence and consolation that we can put our trust in a great and mighty God. And Lord, even as we celebrate in the upcoming weekend, Lord, Good Friday and Easter Sunday, Lord, we pray that we'd really take a introspection and reflect on what you would have done for us and god today that blood is still available today for all those who would want cleansing and pardon and forgiveness because even as one of the songwriters say that blood that gives me strength from day to day shall never lose its power lord and we thank you for the blood because we know the blood of goats and animals in the old testament could not forgive us of our sin but it took the precious lamb of god without spot and without blemish and you should spill your blood on the cross for us. And we remember when you were on the cross, many of them rail on you, said, crucify him. Away with him and give us Barabbas, give us the thief. And even the thief stood and said, if you be the son of God, come down and save us. And God, there was one man on the other side of the cross that said, Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom, remember me. And the Lord, you said to turn and look at him and said, today you will be me, me in paradise. He had forgiven him. He found forgiveness for his sins. And so many people are like Barabbas. We are still saying crucify him. I will with him. There is no God. There is no Jesus. There is no Christ. There is no virgin birth. So many of us try to discredit Christianity and discredit the word of God. But your word is true and it stands forever true. And nothing we can do. And he said, not one jot, one taste of it shall pass until all be fulfilled. And God, today you're still saying we are, you are still extending your mercy. You're still expense, extending your compassion to us. As John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him 
should not perish but have everlasting life. And people could recognize today that everlasting life is only found in Christ because we have all sinned and come short of your glory. So, Father God, even as we go through this season, help us to be conscious of it and to remind us, God, bring those thoughts to our mind today, oh God. Father, we pray that we would turn from our wicked ways and be saved. God, today we just pray that you would just watch over our nation, continue to watch over our students, even as they are on vacation. Some of them might be in camp and different activities, Lord. I pray that they would find something productive to do because we know the, the idle hands of the devil workshop. And God, I pray that you will roam in every parish, over every home, even parents who would have leave their children and have to go to work and leave instruction for them. I pray, Lord God, that you would open their ears so that they'll be listening and they'll be obedient and follow what they know is true and right. Those will be going to classes, the CP and so on, and they'll be having extra lesson. God, guide them and protect them through the day. And Lord, I pray that we we'll protect our homes from fire and other harms. Because you know, sometimes children get into things that they, that are not necessary sometimes. And God, we pray that you would cover the homes, cover the, the villages, the parishes, and our nation to remember those in authority. Lord, we pray that you would just strengthen them and help them, God, to do what is right and to lead well. Father, these are not the mercies we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' lovely name. Amen and amen. So everything good with you? Amen. Yes, good. I said amen. I think I have yes, my good in Yes, I'm in Bushiri in camp. I have a group of children oh, in that are camping. So, oh, so I'm yeah. Camp. I remember yes. Bandy said that his children are going there. So let me say good morning to them also. Say good morning because they do listen when they're with their dad at home. Yeah. Yes. So yes. thank you so very yes. much. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Have a blessed day. You too. Okay, okay bye bye. All right. Okay, bye. It is Tuesday. It is the 26th of March. Wow, March is almost done. In four, four, five days, we are out of here and heading into April. So let me say good morning to the people who are already on the live. Marlon Klein, good morning to you. Claude Abraham, Mary Olovachi, buongiorno. Uh, Errol Bonaparte, Alban Harris, Anne Marie Celestine Grant, Ivor Hollis. Wallen Aquad, good morning. Yvonne John Roberts, baby daddy, good morning to you. Christine Ortley, these are the people on the live so far. And let me say good morning to those who are always listening every morning, regardless of where they are. So I had to write down names. So let me say good morning to you, Kenro. Hope all is well. Coffee in the morning, good morning to you. Miss Matheson, Nurse Francis in Chantimel, Highland, Cathian, Marilyn Franklin, Brooklyn in Pearls, her daughter Norma. Karen Mark out there in Tio. The Dead family in, in Tio also. Lorna Bain, good morning. Mona, good morning to you. Sir John Philip, good morning. Bandy, good morning. I heard that your kids are, your children, sorry, not kids, your children are in camp in Bushery, so you may have to pass on a good morning to them. Michelle Thomas, good morning. Junior out there in St. Andrews, good morning to you. Ms. Brown and Michelle at Classic Furniture in Granville. Madeline, good morning. Bernadette Abraham. People at the University under the Cashy Tree, good morning to you. Good morning to Susan, Paula, and Mama B. Good morning to Ian Millett and his wife are there in Montrich. Jessica Thomas, Esther Pascal. Trisha Garnes, good morning. Antonia Rogers, good morning to you. Michael Fraser, good morning. Good morning to Edmund Mark. I know that you are sometimes listen, sometimes you're not. But let me say good morning to you. Um, if I, as I go along, I will remember who I have to say good morning to. But before Jester come, let me say good morning to the Hill Street people. That is the Robinson family. He forgot to say good morning to you last week, so I'm saying it on behalf of him and myself. If he doesn't remember, good morning to Miss Glean and hubby are there. Hope all is going well at the moment. Callis family, good morning to you. 
Good morning to Deslin and every one of you that listens to Real FM on Tuesday Mental Health. Good morning to Nicholas Snag. SBW, I know you're still asleep because you're a night owl. Good morning to you. Um, it is Tuesday, it is Mental Health Tuesday, and we do have an interesting topic this morning, as usual. Let me say good morning to that lady that drinks the Coke. <laughs> you better call in this morning, let me see how you and that Coke thing is going. If you abolish the Coke or you're still drinking it like no tomorrow, you said that it's not good for you. So when things are not good for us, we, we have to find a way to get rid of it, regardless of how think, addictive you are to it. It's all about you and your health. So call me this morning and let me know. Drumsticks, good morning. Hope all is well. I'm going to hear from you in a little bit. So let me just go back to the commercial break here and hopefully Jumpsick is going to haul in soon. your style with color by Sissons. The first word when you speak about furniture is classic. Yes, at Classic Furniture, they design and make the best in local furniture. All their products are made from the finest local wood available on island. You think it, they design it and make it to your expectations. The highest standards at the best possible price. And they also provide higher purchase for you, their valued customers. Located on Ben Jones Street in Grenville with their factory at Chantemel in St. Patrick. That's where you need to visit when looking for products made of the finest local wood. They deliver and install items at no extra cost. Your satisfaction is their mission. The extra step is taken to ensure their customers are completely satisfied. They do doors and finished kitchens, supplies mattresses, and restores antique pieces to look like the first day they were made. Hey, give us a call on 442-4645 and 442-9726. Classic Furniture, Trinidad's homegrown furniture producers. It is said, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Therefore, the authenticity of the beverage can only be acquired in the taste. A taste which is original to Antoine de Beauregard Industries and comes from a combination of spices and local rum, which can hold its own all over the world. Woodman, a strength which speaks for itself. A taste which stands out from the rest, bottled with care, which speaks to perfection. Try Woodman today and be stunned by a flavor as never before. Let your palate savor that which is produced locally. Do not be deterred by substandard products. Our taste speaks volumes and sets us apart from the competition. You will be satisfied with every sip of our product. Say rum, say woodman, feel satisfaction. Now that's quality. Tourism is me, tourism is you. Tourism is everybody. And tourism connects us all. Did you know that tourism generates revenue and foreign exchange earnings? Did you know it stimulates infrastructural development and facilitates cultural exchange among people? You must know tourism is linked to all industries. From agriculture to construction. So support the industry today and be welcoming to all our visitors. Tourism is my business. Tourism is your business. Tourism is all. A message from the Ministry of Tourism and the Grenada Tourism Authority. Where you walk, what you say, when you talk, where you go. 
And I think I've got drumsticks online. Good morning to you, and how are you? Hello, good morning, CJ. I'm good. How are you? I am good, thank you. Okay. Good morning to the nation. A reading from the Word of God, Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us and not ourselves. We are the we are the sheep. We are the sheep people of we are the, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name, for the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting and his truth endure to all generations. This is the end of the scripture reading. Thank you very much and I hope all is well with you. You know. Um, the pepper, you get a good shower of rain for the past mm -hmm. couple of days. How the pepper going? The flowers in the blossoming, they have it already. Oh, really? Yeah, they have one already. Okay, so um, anytime that you find you have a lot, you know where to find me, right? I know. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Now, you don't have bread food by you up there? No, not at all. I have to buy bread food in the market and it's selling the bread food for one side, but that's one, you know. Really? Yeah. Uh -oh, that's not good. People, I'm looking for bread food. Two, one, three, anything I get, I'm taking it. Somebody oh. came from abroad and they want to make some oil dung for the, the people, you know, they want some oil dung because bread food just come and bread food just go. Yes. Yes, he didn't give us warning that it was leaving. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm looking for bread food. Anybody know where we have bread food? Let me know. We have, na we have an, um a lunch and um, Sunday in our church and mm -hmm. we need breakfast to make salad too, but I don't think breakfast no way. No, use yam and use fig. <laughs> Let me get the breadfruit, not you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I will. <laughs> All right, take care. You Thank you so much. Go. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah. You're going to be careful, careful. It is 19 minutes after the hour of 7 o'clock, and we are going to be joining the Met Office to see what we have weather-wise this morning. Good morning to you, Jonathan, and how are you? Good morning to you, and I'm doing quite all right. I hope you are as well. I'm good, thank you. Great. And good morning, listeners. Here is the weather for today, Tuesday, the 26th of March, 2024, as recorded at the Morris Bishop International Airport. It is currently fair with the winds coming from the east-southeast at 13 miles per hour. Barometric pressure is 1011 millibars, which is below normal and rising. Present temperature is 27.8 degrees Celsius and relative humidity 78%. Yesterday's maximum was 30 degrees Celsius and the minimum last night 26.9 degrees Celsius. No rainfall was recorded over the past 24 hours, hence the total for the month remains at 30.6 millimeters. And now for the public forecast for Grenada, Kalyuku, and Petit Martinique Valley for today and tonight. The weather is expected to be generally fair, with a chance for brief, isolated showers. Today's maximum will be 31.5 degrees Celsius, with winds east northeasterly to south easterly at 10 to 20 miles per hour, becoming variable to calm at times. Seas will be slight to moderate, with waves 3 to 5 feet in open waters. Low tide will be at 10 a.m. and high tide at 4 p.m. Sunset will be at 6.18 and sunrise at 6.06. Just to repeat the public forecast for Grenada, Karyaku, and Petit Martinique Valley for today and tonight, the weather is expected to be generally fair, with the chance for brief isolated showers. From the forecast, Escadimals Bishop International Airport, I'm Jonathan Price. Have a great day. 
Thank you, Jonathan, and you have a great day yourself. Grenada, let your voices be heard. The 58th Independent Secretariat warmly invites all to a public lecture Tuesday, March 26, 6 p.m. at the St. Patrick Anakin School. The lecture will be hosted by Arlie Gill on the topic One People, One Journey, One Future. Come out and be part of this public discussion on Grenada's past, present, and future. In an industry where customers expect quality, M&N Hardware Limited is a leader in locally manufactured aluminum windows, doors, roofing, and guttering. Our manufacturing division is efficient, flexible, and will always go the extra mile to surpass customer expectations. If you need security, sash, casement, or projected windows, we're able to do it. Our security and heavy-duty doors are state-of-the-art and can be customized specifically for you. Using innovative coating technologies and protective film, our roofing and guttering is weather-resistant, providing outstanding color retention for many years. Available in 24 and 26 gauge and a variety of color options. We are the leading company, a family that is proving to customers they can have their dream products. M&N Hardware Limited. Foundation to roof, let's build together. Third party outages are, outages are caused by parties external to Grenick. Kite flying is one of the major causes of third party outages also. Kite flying over the years has proven to be an issue that has created many outages on our systems. This Easter, Grenlek would like you to keep your kite in sight. Use an open area with no overhead power lines. Avoid personal injury through electric shock. Avoid damaging property and causing inconvenience through power outages. Enjoy tradition safely. Avoid damage and injury. The new National Party St. Patrick's West presents Skanking Sweet on Saturday, April 27th. A back in time party. Bar ice cold. Doors open at 10 p.m. Early bird tickets $15. More after. Music by DJ Just Gus, the Immortal, Small Clothes International. Where? At the arena. Where else? In Plains in St. Patrick. Skanking Sweet. See you there. Tourism is me. Tourism is you. Tourism is everybody. And tourism connects us all. Did you know that tourism generates revenue and foreign exchange earnings? Did you know it stimulates infrastructural development and facilitate cultural exchange among people? You must know tourism is linked to all industries. From agriculture to construction. So support the industry today and be welcoming to all our visitors. Tourism is my business. Tourism is your business. Tourism is our business. Listen one and all. Tourism connects us all. A message from the Ministry of Tourism and the Grenada Tourism Authority. Where you walk, what you say, when you talk, when you go. 
speak about furniture is classic. classic. Yes, at Classic Furniture, they design and make the best in local furniture. All their products are made from the finest local wood available on island. You think it, they design it and make it to your expectations. The highest standards at the best, best possible, possible price. price. And they also provide higher purchase for you, their valued customers. Located on Ben Jones Street in Grenville with their factory at Chantemel in St. Patrick. That's where you need to visit when looking for products made of the finest local wood. They deliver and install items at no extra cost. Your satisfaction is their mission. The extra step is taken to ensure their customers are completely satisfied. They do doors and finished kitchens, supplies mattresses and restores antique pieces to look like the first day they were made. Hey, give us a call on 442-4645 and 442-9726. Classic Furniture, Grenada's homegrown furniture producers. It is said, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Therefore, the authenticity of the beverage can only be acquired in the taste. A taste which is original to Antoine de Beauregard Industries and comes from a combination of spices and local rum, which can hold its own all over the world. Woodman, a strength which speaks for itself. A taste which stands out from the rest, bottled with care, which speaks to perfection. Try Woodman today and be stunned by a flavor as never before. Let your palate savor that which is produced locally. Do not be deterred by substandard products. Our taste speaks volumes and sets us apart from the competition. You will be satisfied with every sip of our product. Say rum, say woodman, feel satisfaction. Now that's quality. Tourism is me, tourism is you. Tourism is everybody. And tourism connects us all. Did you know that tourism generates revenue and foreign exchange earnings? Did you know it stimulates infrastructural development and facilitates cultural exchange among people? You must know tourism is linked to all industries. From agriculture to construction. So support the industry today and be welcoming to all our visitors. Tourism is my business. Tourism is your business. Tourism is our business. Tourism connects us all. A message from the Ministry of Tourism and the Grenada Tourism Authority. Where you walk, what you say, when you talk, where you go. 
Let me continue to say good morning to the people that are on the live again with Miriam. Good morning to you. Pearl Charles, good morning. Um, Anne Andrews, good morning. Jerome Lewis, good morning. Carol Belfon and Laurel Courtney. Jester, good morning to you and how are you? Claire, good morning and good morning to the listeners and viewers of Real 91.9. Okay. Yes. It's a lovely Tuesday morning. It's been the 26th of March. Wow, March is quickly slipping away from our graphs. I'm telling you. You know, I'm just thinking back. It was like Christmas just the other day. And look how deep we are into the first quarter of the year. Oh my goodness gracious, time is really moving fast, man. I can tell I, you that for sure. I thought you were going to say time is flying. I'm telling you, <laughs> time has wings right now. So, <laughs> yes, so it is uh, Tuesday again, Jester. And let me put, put your mug shot so you better smile because you are on candid camera. Let's you see. Let me see you smile, Jester. <laughs> uh, I was going to laugh here. <laughs> This is just uh, from Saturday to yesterday. I had no voice. Oh, yeah, and the voice is back this morning. Well, I hope it stays that way because I think I, I screamed so hard on Saturday that was it Saturday night? Yeah. Yeah, and four. Yes. Yeah. That I think I my voice just my voice go for three reasons. When I when I cry, when um when I'm tired and when I and I shout. Yeah. So this one was for the the shouting part. Yeah. Yesterday I thought, I said, well, wait a minute, Claire, your voice is not going. I mean, let me tell you, those little things, Jester, I think they should just put them to run yeah. and forget about the, the, the bigger size ones. It, that little scamper them fast. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it, it's such a love to see the, um, the younger one, like the under, the under nines, you know, the under elevens. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know, you just, you just watch them and you just, you get so excited because it is this, I saw a little, I mean, it could, <laughs> a little, little thing, maybe reached by my knee. And you know what's funny? They lean their head like that. And it's like, when they lean their head is where the speed come from. It was amazing. But Claire, I must say hats off to the organizers of the, um, Twilight, really. Um, the only thing I you probably come. could fall them for is the, the, the late time, start. The time, yeah. But other than that, mm -hmm. you know, so... And I'm saying, if it's going to be twilight, don't say it starts at four. Because yeah. you know it's not going to start at four no matter what you do. So if it's twilight, it's put it up, say, 5, 30, 6 o'clock. So people yeah. like me that go on time. And I, you know I have, I have an issue with time. When somebody say to me, get there yeah. by that time, and I get there by that time. I want to see what's going on around that time. But for two hours, we've been sitting there. Yeah, myself so. and Aggie and Delbert and so. And, you know, nothing... And every minute you're saying, oh, well, you know, thank you, listeners, for thinking. And I'm saying, shut up, Jester, because you know that ain't happening. Well, I have to apologize on the app. <laughs> apologize for what? They're not, on, listen, listen. They, I think people should not, and I say it every time, take people's time for granted. Because we could have been doing something else at home, yeah. you know, and you're still starting at four. Make your time worth something and make it worth, for me especially, not me personally, but me, the people that are listening, that pe people that are coming to the event. I realize that we in Grenada and I've seen we like late night thing because when it comes around seven, eight o'clock, the park was filled with people. You understand? Yeah. So don't, so, don't say four o'clock and make it and you start at six, say six o'clock. Yeah, yeah, I advised them. I, I did advise one of the organizers, one of the persons involved already that um, that is what they need to do. So you can see you get open from that time, mm -hmm. but you're starting at, at that six, time and yes. mean that you're starting at yes, that time. Come that, get yourself settled in at, at 4, 4, 4 30, yeah. but we are starting at 6. Because yeah. when it says twilight, yeah, this is when twilight really happens at, yeah. around those hours. But don't take me as a 
put somebody out as a stickler for time and yeah. make me sit down there. I think they will work on know. that for next year, please. Well, they should. So, really. Yeah. Because, they, I mean, this, I, I cost for myself. I cost with Aggie. I cost with everybody. I'm like, Aggie, well, what's going on? They tell us, you know, it starts at 4. We're here. And we even, we got there at 4.30, you know. And it was still, you know, nothing going on. People just walking around and people looking like they lost and all this kind of thing. So, after all, it was good. You know when the other race that I like Jester was? Coming down to the wire. I think it was... Who did you, um Was it the 4x4 four four then? Yeah, yes. That was speed beyond speed. Magdalene yeah. College. What do you call them? Finish yeah, line? Or finish line, yeah. And they win a lot of money, who, man. Oh, they yes. won a lot of money. Who are they? <laughs> <laughs> who, who is finish line? Finish line? Where, is, where are they really from? I think... Is it St. Louis? Subject to correction, I'm not quite mm, and sure. And the other one was what? So we had, we had... Finish line, there was another club name. Um, um, could I think of what this club now? All I know, yeah. and hear me, when I get puzzled, I'm just stay saying, and they're coming down to the finish, finish line is called, finish line is coming to the finish line. <laughs> what is he talking about? <laughs> well, you had about, you had about 10 different... Um, clubs? Clubs, and including schools, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. representing... So, which but I, really I, I think nothing, nothing beats that little youth and them. I'm telling you, I didn't ever see when your son run, you know, and I, was, I kept looking for him. But he told me he came um, second. second twice, and, and um, I said, and you wanted him to run. He says, I don't know why daddy want me to run. I don't want to run in it. I yeah. Yeah, okay, well, I, I didn't, said, I know, didn't force him he after. Says, I said, good for next year, spray your foot and you can run, you can play your soccer. Just don't do that. Because the thing about it, that day, actually, his mind was set on going to... Um, Looney Smack and them event at Progress Park. Oh, his okay. aunt was going to take a, a... Oh, so you put a spoke in his <laughs> wheel. No wonder why he was so dejected. He sat there with his head but, bent and everything. But listen, the thing is now, he was supposed... He ran with St. Patrick Anglican because mm -hmm. um, the school he attended did not take part. They I guess it's part. because okay. the old Sabbath yeah, thing. Yeah, it's you know? Saturday, yeah. So, but Anglican at one time, I, I thought they weren't going to show up. And oh, I they did show up. I do, but very late. So I'm thinking, Jeoni would have killed me, actually. <laughs> really killed me. <laughs> if Anglican did not show up. Yeah, yeah, they showed up. They showed up. They, yeah, I mean, the so, little the kids, the, yeah, the little yeah. children, they are awesome. And I mean, if they keep that and they get the support and the encouragement, Jester, yeah. no holes barred for them when they when they're there. So that is why, Claire, um, right now, they, we are in, in, in discussion of, of organizing an athletics we? club up there. Well, myself, oh. um, Hensley, Jeffrey, Leon Hall is the one that really brought up the, the mm -hmm. idea and I th thought really we need to go for it. But it's going to take a lot. Eh? It, it, gonna, it will take a well, lot. Because you it. have to be broad based and you have to look at the holistic development of mm. the athletes. So it, it's not just simple. It, it, that takes a lot, quite a lot. Always so, remember that nothing good yeah. come, come nothing good comes easy. Yeah. Eh? It, it takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication and discipline. And you know the two days, discipline and determination will get you wherever you're going and whatever it is that you're set to do in your yeah. life. But we need that here in St. Patrick. That is where I believe we're lacking a bit to take us beyond that point at which we are at. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And what point is that? Well, the thing is, in terms of on the tracks already, mm -hmm. we are doing excellent. Yes, I think what yes. is one of the things that we are what feeling us is in the field events. Mm. Yeah, I think that's where them other school and them does be accumulating some of the other the, the, other the points, points so, okay. to help them. Um, right. Yeah, yeah, but it, it was, and you know, and this um, twilight thing was not well advertised then. Eh? Well, I wouldn't know much about because well, we didn't get we didn't do it, yeah. so we did. A lot of people didn't yeah. know about it because yeah. when you talk to people and said, "Well, I didn't know that was going on," because it, it, I think they put it on Facebook. But me, people like me, does not go on Facebook. <laughs> I heard it because we had sports, and you you all you kept advertising talking about it on yeah. the twenty third of March. It's going to be twilight, really. So I knew it was coming up that date, but a lot of people did not know about it. So imagine if it was well advertised, how bigger it was going to be. Yeah. yeah. So. I'm just putting it out there that you all know that. Yeah, but I think <laughs> it is good and no need for it to change it because I'll tell you why. It's because of the leap year this year. Mm -hmm. And then you have the, the clash with the, the whole Carifta yes, um, yes. games coming up this weekend. That's right. So some of some of the, the top athletes did, did not in? see okay. them on display as well as some of the clubs. Because there are many other clubs that um, mm -hmm. were not present. So I think for next year, please God. It will be different because, okay. you know, okay. coming away from the leap year, then it will be. 
So let me say good morning again to Natalia John, always checking in. Faith and Holly Douglas, good morning to you. Kathleen Ledlow, good morning. Lorna Bain, all the way from Tio, just the east. She just checked in. Yeah, Lorna so, locked in. Yes, yes. Say good morning. Just uh, I said good morning to everybody already. So you say good morning to who you normally say good morning to. And I did say good morning to Mona and good yeah. morning to the Hill Street, the Hill Street people. You say good morning to the Glynn family. You didn't I say did that. I did say right? that too. You did say that too. Yes, listen. Okay. I am on the ball, you, you know. That? I am. What? Listen. I am. You remember the handler, right? Yeah. <laughs> I handle. I, I am not on the live budget, so you are seeing who who are who are there. <laughs> so yes. who and you, you 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 already say good morning to who I usually say who so who well, has been going to say well, good no, morning no, 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 to? No. I I did say, <laughs> and I let me make myself clear. Pun intended in that one. I did say that last week when you came in, you forgot to say good morning to the Hill Street people last week. And I'm saying it now to you for myself. So when Jester comes in, he's going to say, so double morning, good morning is no biggie. Just tell them because I know Celia still wants to kill you. <laughs> Not me, you. Oh, a special good morning to the Robinson family over there in Hill Street, especially Teacher Festus. That name, Teacher Festus, will always be me. Mm -mm. <laughs> no matter what, you just, you know, you have some name that stay with you for life. You yeah. know the funny thing, I saw, I saw Greta Franklin um, <laughs> on Saturday, and uh, Livingston Nelson was there. I saw him morning to, or hi to Livingston whenever I see him, and he's like, I'm like an enigma to him. He doesn't know who I am. So I, I wave her and Tessa, and I, and I can see. I can see Livingston actually asking who I am, and I can read lips, if you yeah. know people don't know, <laughs> who I am and everything like that. So when I was going on, I said, you got your answer? He said, he said, I know who you are now. I said, yeah, because I saw you finding out about me. <laughs> he almost died. And I said to Miss, uh, Miss Franklin, I said, you know, look at my age, and I'm still calling you Miss. I said, something is wrong with that picture. But then again, this is how we grew up, eh? Yeah. Having respect for our teachers and so on. Regardless of how old we are, they are always our teachers, and we're always going to say Mr. and Miss when we see them. Oh, yes. No, yeah. Yes, enough respect. Yes, as mm. you say, enough respect. Mm. So, Jester, mm. today, 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 we are going to be talking about how to, be, how to find ways to be a better person mentally. And we might say to you, to ourselves, uh, what are you talking about? How could we be a better person? And you'll be shocked at what it, the little things that it, will, it may take for you and I to become better people. Because when you put it in one, I am a person, you are a person. But when you put it in the, in the frame of what it's supposed to be, it is we become people, yeah? Yes? Okay, yeah. So how do we do, uh, we become better people from being a better person? So we cannot become what we need to be, remaining what we are. I think this is amazing. So, so I think what is, what is important here mm -hmm. um, is talking about being a better person. Well, we come in our own image and likeness as created by the Almighty, and, mm -hmm. and that would not change expect, as Except someone going to some plastic surgery or something. You mean so like I me? think what is <laughs> <laughs> let's stop it, nobody do only for us. Oh Lordy. <laughs> so ahead. I think what we're really looking at here is more or less is the character yes. of the individual, yes, really. Yes. That is what but is really on the line. Listen. And the personalities. Character yeah. is yeah. deep. You're very Be deep. Beauty very is deep. skin deep, you know. That's just, what defined you yes, as, a, your character. as a person. Yeah. And, and your word. And let your, yeah. you see sometimes it's, it's, it's said that your word is more important than anything else. Because if I give my word to you, Jester, you have to take that and go to the bank. Yeah. Because this is who I am. This is what I'm telling you to be who I am. So you got to take that. But you see, you can look at me and say, oh, you know, Claire looks, Claire looks beautiful, Claire. But this is just skin deep. <laughs> because... When you reach a certain age, everything starts to sag. We go in south, we go in north, we go in east, we go in west, and you know, we're not the same. You look in front of the mirror and you suddenly you frighten your own self when you see who you are. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh my gosh. Yeah, when you, you, know, you look in the mirror and you see yourself, you say, Whoa, who is that? You know, <laughs> but it's you standing. So, this is where your character really has to be who you are. This is your, your person, your personal self. So, it says again, we cannot become what we need to be, remaining what we are. And this is, is going to back up what it is that we are going to do today. And it asks the question, 
How does one become a better person? Jester, how does one become a just a better person? Well, I believe one becomes or look to become a better person. First of all, they have to maybe search the self really deeply and probably tell yourself the where they're lacking and look to emulate um, from others, you know, that are doing good things. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's one, certainly to me one of the reasons someone can become a better person, I believe. Mm -hmm. It has to do with emulation of others. And reflection, you know, so. and as you say, an yeah. assessment. You gotta assess yeah. who you are and reflect on, on where, who you are and where you wanna go and what you wanna be. He says, here are some ways to be a better person. If you just allow, if you just follow a tip a day, you'll go a long way toward becoming a better, more likable person. Remember, this isn't about making yourself liked by others. It is about becoming someone you truly love and adore, the highest person you can be. And they're talking about you, Jester. And they're talking about me. Because at the end of you're saying, I'm going to say you, you, and you're going to say you. So it is about you, that person, and how you can become better. Because I cannot be a better person using you. Right? Like to say, Okay, Claire, you're a jester, so you're a better person. No, it has to be about me and yeah. trying to be that, that better person. Chance the game, good morning. That is Mary from Toronto. He's always locking in. Good morning to you, Pat Pear. Pat Keep James, good morning. It was great seeing you a couple of days ago. And to, I think it's. Um, Pat as in. Um, Pat Keep James from Union Pat. Island. Oh, yeah. She was here last oh, yeah. week. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and Pat Pierre, you know, in Paraclete, that's yeah. lock. I know she's sitting there already waiting with her radio and, <laughs> you know, listening to us and her brother-in-law. I think it's William is his name. Good morning to you, William, if you are listening. Yes, that's Pat's brother-in-law. So they, they do listen. We have a team yeah. of listeners. They're calling the real FMers now. Um, real FMers. Mr. Pierre as well, eh? Um, well, yeah, if he's, on, if he's on the go and he gets a chance, he's going to listen. Yeah, Mr. Pierre. Is, yes. Used to be great for not down at the Ministry of Education when mm -hmm. he was... Um, Which one of them? Um, Michael? Yeah, Michael. Okay. Michael, yeah. Yes. Because I, he came from was, SAS yes. as principal and then he came down to the Ministry okay. of Education. Mm -hmm. he was, I think he was the PSD at one time oh, too. Okay. And um, yeah. used to be a love because I tell you something, Claire. The maintenance division back then of the Ministry of Education, of which I was a part of, you know, being the electrician. So we mm -hmm. had a whole team of skilled workers. Mm -hmm. And. Um, Although we used to be in uh, with jeans and t shirt man, but we were like the <laughs> the live wired mm -hmm. <laughs> down at the ministry, man. Trust me. And you know, Mr. Pa Mr. Um, Pierre, Pierre mm -hmm. you know, used to take some time off and just chat with the boys from maintenance. Well, this, you is know? How, this is <laughs> how you get to, to know who your workers <laughs> are you, by man, chatting with them. Yeah, 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 and really you always hear me saying yeah. that, um, is it Richard Bronson, Virgin Airlines? Mm -hmm. I always talk about him because. He is a, a, a boss that knows all his workers. And, you know, they have lots of flights. He, he, an airline, an airplane, Virgin Airlines. And he knows each and every one of his workers, their children and everything like that. So this is how you get your, your staff to really respect and work for you. Because if you're treating them fairly, there's no wrong. There's nothing that's stopping them from, from working. And especially when you take time off to talk to them on a one-on-one -on -one basis, it, may, it goes along. It makes a big difference. Yep. Linda yep. and George, good morning. I haven't heard you for a while, and I keep saying that you're, you're not checking in. What's going on with you? So here, Jester, it talks about you getting to know you, the highest person you can be, and it's not about elevating yourself to be better than anybody, but it's to make yourself be a better person. Commit yourself to growth. Be growth-oriented. The more you grow, the better you become. This is truth all around. So it says here, and first point you're going in, work on your negative traits. Are there any traits you dislike about yourself? Hmm. Some traits that I didn't like about myself in the past include being self-centered, arrogant, selfish, critical, harsh, and hard, and hard. Identify them and then work on them one by one. It can be challenging to overhaul your character at once. On the other hand, if you work on addressing one negative trait at a time, it's a lot more manageable and achievable. 
Kira, good morning. Che, good morning to you. How are you? Uh, of course, I, I, I agree with everything that has been written there. Mm -hmm. That is just simply obvious. I would say it's obvious yeah. to you, but there are a lot of us just a lot of us out there that think they don't they don't really pay attention to themselves in that way. And it's like, this is who I am and you're going to take me how you get me. And that's it where there are, there's always room for improvement and room for change in somebody's life. We have a call. Good morning. Good morning. Claire. Good morning, Mona. How are you? <laughs> halfway. You halfway. Yeah. So that means you're 50%. It could be. Oh, well, I you know. know. If I could check. Yeah, you could check. You will always know you're, you're not 100, so you're the 50. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, it could go up 75. Well, there you go. Bring it up. Right. We are talking about becoming a better person this morning, and if 75 is going to make you better, go for it. Know yourself. Yes, man. Check yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't look on others. Exactly. Know where you come from. And where you're going. And where you going. Mm-hmm. Good morning, Chester. I thought, I thought you would have forgotten me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I, was, I actually was waiting. Not you? I was waiting patiently so to deal with your case me? if you didn't. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, um, I have a lady from Latant. Her name is Maureen. She listened to that radio station night and day as she said to me mm -hmm. she will never never move that dial on that station mm -hmm. she says she does admire claire and jester and when mona put in she says <laughs> <laughs> we hear we know <laughs> she said when mona put in she says she does just sit down and laugh Mm. And she says she does wait patiently to hear my voice. Miss Maureen, good morning. It's another M, is it? Mona, Margaret, Magna, and Maureen, Magdalene. and Magdalene. That five. And Mommy Jay. And who? M Mommy who? Mommy Jay. Okay, all the M's. Shoma, that's Shoma girls and them, you know. All of yes. them. When they start to call is one on the radio, you know. And with all that combination, that mm -hmm. equivalent to madness. Eh? I tell you. <laughs> you, you find another that M. madness? <laughs> all the M's. <laughs> No, when you day in like that, mm -hmm. you meet people, you make friends, mm -hmm. you are cursing, you are fighting, and you move on. So let me ask you now, who ambushed you to M um, last week? Was you it mad? I don't fast. Well, it was on the radio. I heard somebody yeah. come in your house and ambush you, and you heard they want to give them two stick or you have your baseball bat and what not. You Not have. baseball bat, a piece of two by two. Well, there you go. You see. And my knife. Mm, you see, somebody ambush and she was. And that was what Margaret. No, yes, sir. What I want you to get for me is a maze. A maze? Yes. Yeah. And, and you have nutmeg by you? No. Well, give me a pepper spray. <laughs> pepper spray is illegal. Oh God. You have to get. You have to get beer spray. Shama said to me, get a handcuff. She asked me if I don't have police. I said to her, yes. But the time I take in to put on the handcuff, I could use this spray. Oh, oh okay. Well, um, I, I can't, I would not indulge, indulge in getting pepper spray also. But pepper spray is banned all over the, you know, globe. Well, I will make one. Well, yeah. You know, get blood pepper, the hottest pepper known to mankind. Yes. Soak it in a little something. I mean, I, I'm not saying you. You could go on YouTube and find out to make pepper spray for yourself. So, so oh, okay. Claire, what I'm hearing there, is that like serious? Uh -huh, serious? It's bad. Yeah? Uh -huh. Like somebody intruding? No, 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 no. It's her friend Margaret. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I thought that's, I, I, No, I just wanted to know. So, you want... Oh, well, that is somebody who <laughs> would take care of me. Yes, yes. A friend Margaret. At because the if... Fine, you know, and mm -hmm. you know she come back here Sunday again. Hey, well, Margaret, want to move in? Well, I'll give you a chance. I might go out. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And let she come in. Uh, <laughs> open up the door and let her come in. Yeah, Margaret, good morning. <laughs> you hear that, Jester? Yeah. All she know. Mm -hmm. And Shama, good morning to you. Is Shama is awake as yet? Uh-huh. Mona, you have breadfoot up there? You want? Yes, please. I could climb. Good, good, good. Go for it. Find the tree and climb. My two or three is fine. Okay. I wish I could get one now to yow yow. Okay. 
I just put in it out there. Anybody have bread food, I could do it too. Yeah, I, I don't mind paying for it. Yeah, I'm not asking for it for free for you all to say, oh, you she sit down there and she asking. No, I'm not begging anybody. I just want to. Beggy, beggy, well, they could say whatever they want. I know I'm not a begging person. No, if you want to ask for it, ask for it. And only two answers they can give me, you know, yes or no. End of story. And you don't want to fit you. No, I ask. Right. Yes, yes, I ask. I'm not begging. Right. I'm asking if anybody has bread food out there. Right. Good morning, Faitlin. Good morning to you. Okay, Moons, we shall chat. Have a blessed day. All right. I'll you take good care of all yourself. And Jester, yes, Ms. don't Mona. let you put no spokes into your wheel. She can't try Why? that, man. She Why does, you all she do that to me? <laughs> she does try it. all kind of thing, eh? Yeah, but... Be, be, be careful. <laughs> she can't make it. <laughs> Mona, bye. Bye. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Mona, yeah. Mona, look, Mona and her M people are there, but six of them for real, you know. Yeah. When they call Shama on from three o'clock in the evening, it's like you're just cracking up, you know. Yeah. Oh, yes, the Mon, Mona, Margaret, Magda, Magna, Miss M, and I can't yeah. keep up. It's yeah. a, whole, a whole lot like, of them. Like they've been in Shama, Shama, man, yeah, been in Shama for a long Mam years. Mami dear, from Mami, way back. Yes, way right, way back. right. Yeah. Mami dear. So, yes, getting back to it, it says, you know, we have to work on our negative traits, Jester. And a lot of us have traits that we have to work on, but we don't look at it as something that we should work on because they don't think it's affecting the people that's around them in any way or form. But arrogance, you're self centered, you're critical, harsh, and hard. These are a lot of traits that a lot of us have suckling around us in our lives. Mm -hmm. And if we don't work on them or try to get rid of them, we'll never become a better person. And this is what we are talking about today, how to become a better person mentally. Because when we, do, we don't think about it though, it affects us mentally because just uh, who of us want to be around somebody that has those traits here? But you see, the thing is uh, to work on these things, first of all, is a matter of acceptance or not being naive of it. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> that's the whole thing. If the person is not willing to accept to or not being you. in denial of mm -hmm. of what of what those traits are, then it would be difficult to really work up on it and mm -hmm. improve. Yeah. So the phone is working and the number is still four 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 two zero one seven five. You see Mona just called. So but if you want to listen and take notes as to how to become a better you, then by all means go ahead. Now it says identify your ideal self gesture. And when they say identify your ideal self, that is really the real McCoy. That's the true you, your ideal self. And it asks, what's your ideal self like? It says picture them in your mind and then write them down all, write down all your ideal traits, then start living true to your ideal self. So you, again, you have to do that self-examination and check on the things that you see, the thing that you're doing, and ask yourself, how is that working for me? How is it working for you? And if it's not working for, for you and, and it's not working for me, then something is wrong, then that's when we really have to dig deep inside of us and find out who am I and where am I going? What is it, that it that's making me the person that I am? Yeah, but the thing is, I, there come that same clear, um, mm -hmm. like age brain reasoning. Not everybody. <laughs> I'm telling you that straight up. <laughs> not everybody. Yeah, yeah. Clear. I shoot it on one time and tell not everybody. <laughs> Go ahead. But no, but even even like in 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 my case, for example, mm -hmm. I, I I can kind of make um certain statement, but pertaining to that as I grew older mm -hmm. because some of the things I remember I used to do when like I was in my 20s um, I no longer do them today yeah you know there was a time when Claire anybody drum beat I would have been there I'm telling you straight yeah but you're getting old <laughs> you don't have that energy anymore to you know so yes you make but that still change. there are some people that don't give it that, up, you know? what did I they say to you <laughs> I just said not everybody. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. So, the, okay, there are those of us that take stock on our lives, as they say. You at an age where you develop, you grow, you mature, all of these things that you do to make yourself better. And there are some of us that stays in the same rut 
day after day, month after month, year after year, all our years we stay in the same way while a lot of us are making progress and you are in the same spot. And then you question, well, why am I here? Or what am, why am I still doing that? This person is making progress and that person is making progress. And because you did not take, you did not assess yourself. You did not look deep into you to know your real you to make that change. And as you say, age bring reason, yes. Age bring reason for a lot of us, but not for all, for not, for, not all of us. For a lot of us, but not all of us. So do you tell yourself you know of people or seen people you feel like you mean you're not seen that different as the age? Yeah, age. yeah. It has people that you know they. Oh, take for example, just you are a father. You have children. You you counsel your children day after day. Don't do this. Don't do this. Do that. Don't do this. We have a call. Mm. Call. I'm coming to you. Do this. Don't do that. But you look at the, 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 the style with the pants that is hanging on your backside way down. You're holding your crutch to walk. And there are big men, well, yeah, big men, not grown men. Big men that do that crap still. So they start at a young age and they continue going, going with it. Is that, would you say that they're making changes in their life? They're trying to become their, their real their, themselves? Let me Let's take the call. call then we'll... Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, CG. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning to you, sir. How are Mount Griffin doing, boy? <laughs> you should take a flight and come <laughs> up and see how Mount Griffin is doing. Mount Griffin is all right. I was <laughs> down there only Sunday. Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. I'll look at what I want to boy. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> you, are one, come... you are one of those that need visa to come back home, eh? <laughs> well, if I need, if I get visa, I still have to get a vehicle to drop me where I'm from. We have buses. I, uh, Don't worry. Buses? Yeah. Well, they even buses drop me so there's a my phone. Then you can I'm walk. With. Wait, just say I don't wait for me, so this guy is going very good. Just says going to be a chaperone, just coming up. It's true, true, man. I remember me and just said to play football for him, bam, together. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes. today the topic is more how to be a good person. A good person. One of the things that at the, at the attribute of being a good person, just sometimes we, go, we, go, we, as a young man growing up, we go with that, with that ill discipline and disrespect for others. And and if we change that attitude and look at the other, see others as just how we see ourselves and love our neighbors and love ourselves because that is important to love for one another. And if we change our attitude towards one another, we can be, be a better person in society. When you pass by the roadside, we say good morning to someone because as simple as it may be. But then when you say good morning to someone and when you pass, you feel good. But when a pattern you see, you, you say morning, it like you have a conscience. You say, boy, what I did is right. It's not right. So then we have to change our attitude to uh, to uh, among between our change our attitude. So then when we change our attitude and the way we look at others, that could make us a better person in society. Mm -hmm. And that what we have in us, we should not keep it to, to, for ourselves. You see, like we are saying that. Um, we don't say, do, do as what I say to the world, do, do as I do. Mm -hmm. But then we have to set that example for our children. And when we set that right example and that our children, it, it prosper and it make society a better place. It make our society a better, uh, better for we to live. So it's our attitude towards one another because our children have a slogan, your attitude will determine your altitude. Yep, thank you. Right? So that's what I have to say. So let me say though, about um, quarter to ten, after we do all of the, the, the points that would make us a better person, I am going to leave the line open for some for people to call and tell me which one of them that makes them a different person or they want to work on to become a better person. Take care. Have yourself a great day. Hey, 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 yes, sir. Okay, bye -bye. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, sir. We have another yeah. call. Good morning. Good morning, Claire. Good morning, and Dexter. Good morning. Good morning. I'm calling from Latan. That's the woman that Miss um, Miss Mona speak Ms. about. Mona just oh, introduced well, you thank you. Thank you. Thank you for calling in, and yeah. welcome to Real FM on uh, Tuesday. Darling, that's my. That, I, 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 I know what to tell you. 
Because they are sleeping, awaking, is there. Um, okay, you, you, you ban break and you stayed on that, stay on that dial. On that dial. Yes. Miss Mona called me, she said, make sure to call and tell them good morning. Good morning I, to you. I'm listening every day. I know all your programs, man. I know everything, man. That's good. Thank you. Thank yes, you so darling. much. Well, you, you have What's your name? Up. My name is Maureen Andrews. Maureen. So it's another M as I say, Maureen. Maureen Andrews. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes. I'm okay. a Maureen too, eh? Oh, you're a Maureen too. So, yeah, man, double I'm, M. Okay. I'm a, um, <laughs> you know Ruthie? That's um, the, the hairdresser? No. In Granville? No, I am not. I don't frequent Granville at all. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, we go link up. All right. You take care now. Well, you take care. Okay. Bye-bye. So, all the best. Thanks. Take care of yourself. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. 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 Yes, yes, sir. So, it's good that, you know, the people that are listening, calling and checking to yeah. say hello because, yeah. um, you know, that's it, the real, the real deal, the I real mean, people. She, she, she sung not like a first-time caller. No, but she, she listens yeah. all the time, so yeah. she knows, so she yeah. calls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it, good. Yeah. Yep. So, another point it says, just to find a role model. Now, a lot of, a lot of people have problems with when we say find a role model because... Who do you think should be your first role model, Jester? Well, your parent. Exactly. Yeah. Your but parent. some people, some, some of us have parents, we, are just more, we forget the role or we forget the model and we just go with the role. You understand? <laughs> because we, 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 we just become a model. We walk in the, 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 the red carpet, we just walk in the, and the role of it, we throw that out the window. But if you have to become... Uh, you, you have to become a role model or for somebody to find a role model. It should be your parent first of all. And if that you lack that, then it comes to someone else. He says, having a role model inspires us and gives us an image of who we can be, who is or are your role models, and what do you like about them. Now, you have your, little, your son and you have your daughter. Um, you have sons and daughter. Let me yeah. put it that way. I forgot you have a big one. <laughs> yeah. Sons and daughter. And, and I'm thinking that you should be the first and foremost, the role model, because you're the one that's going to tell them, guide them to where you think they should be going. And everybody falls off the wagon at times. But where you want them to go to make them better people. So when people say to you, oh, find a role model, it's supposed to be right in front of your face. And you, as the parents, are supposed to take up that role to guide your children or anybody else that is around you. Not wait for me to come along and to find someone. And the next point it says here was to be a role model. And even though you are a parent to your children, you can be a role model for some other children, whether it's in sports, in in the daily life, because there are a lot of us as parents that let our children run helter skelter all over the place with no guidance or anything. And here you step in as that role model for that child to guide them to be better than what you see and where you see they're going. It says, when we are role models to others, it pushes us to think carefully about our actions and sets up to a higher standard. In being a role model, it is not about making yourself into someone you are not. Don't be pretensive in any way or so. It's about living true to your ideal self. And how can you be in an inspirational guide to others? What do you have to do? Live by example. So I cannot be sitting here and talking about being a role model this and be role model to this child and be to that person. And when they see me, it's like I'm a scandalous more than anything else. You understand? Yeah. That is not being a role model. You have to be, I'm not saying that you have to be on like a, like a stick, like straight up like that, but you have to be flexible, yes, and you have to be able to give directions and give um, discipline and so, but still be flexible that the children or whoever it is that you are being a role model to can come talk to you and be comfortable with you. Stop the pretense because people can see right through it. There comes a time when you cannot pretend anymore, you know, Jester. <laughs> and the people that you are the role model to will be very disappointed in you. Because that's not a picture that you portray to me or to you or to them. I agree. I disagree with that. But Claire, the my thing is here, um, people who do the studies and bring this thing together, 
I, as it's been said, right, in the best of us, there is a little bad. Of course. And in the worst of us, there is a little good. Mm -hmm. You know? So, I believe everybody might tend to have their shortcomings. So We all do. Right. I said that. So, <laughs> I believe in some instances, the good of the individual is what you will have to take and emulate. Well, of course, of course, of right? course. So, yep. No, it's talking I about. Just that it is important at that point being. Well, everybody has yeah. the good and the bad in there. Yeah. You know, I when 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 I'm ready, I think nobody bad has me on already. You know, but I I consider myself to be a good person. But when things bother me, I um, the bad comes out in me like it will do in you and everybody else. We got a call. Good morning. Good morning, too. Good morning, Clifford. How are you? I'm too. Miss, uh, I'm all right for the time. Mr. Bridgeman. Good, good. <clears throat> it's a very nice topic. Very wide. Good skill down to what? But it's, it's wide. Because I, I too support mostly everything that you all have said. Yeah, I'm in favor of it. Uh, model, being a role model, a nice thing. But to some people, like you can change them. You can't get the attitude. You can't get what they want to be. You know, because you, you speak to children, as, as you said, that everybody has their, their bad in them, or their wrong in them. You speak to children, and they continue to do the very same wrong, constantly. They're not seeing it from you. They ain't seeing you doing the wrong, but they constantly do it. Take from their peer pressures, and they continue the same way. You know, And it becomes a difficult thing for you to get them to do anything mm -hmm. your way. And I have, I'm speaking from personal experience. I have some boys that give me real problems in their life. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a, a son. He's not giving any real domestic real problem, but he have an attitude in him that he thinks he knows it all. Mm -hmm. Right? And he will tell you, I do this and I do that and I, I throw this through that person that and I throw that person that and me. And, see, and I say to him, and sometimes I say, you're a little bit too self-opinion, you think of yourself a little too much. Not everything I, you know that, you are, you are teaching each other, you are telling each other. And I say, you know, you don't behave those kind of way. Mm -hmm. Because you, you, you will never be the most learned person in the world. So not you, I, I, everything, you are do that, and you, they didn't know how to do this, and you are showing them. I say, no, calm yourself a little bit. And he had a problem with me telling him that. Okay. So Clifford, you think he's very self-centered, right? He is very extra too self-centered, extra too, too much. When you see you this know, is both, this, even, even though even though you have tell a, a teacher something, it doesn't mean that you're brighter than a teacher. Are you? Are you? Mm -hmm. You know more than the teacher. So don't go with it in your head and tell the world, everybody. You meet you tell them, may I tell him how to do that? May I tell him how to do this? But we are not. We are all not the same. Where we are not all academically inclined to. To do certain things and that's why we have um electricians we have plumbers we have pilots we have doctors lawyers we have all different professions because it takes each and every one of us to move the world that we are living in but then again each of us has to as you say assess ourselves re-evaluate reflect on the things of what we do and who we are to get to be the best person and uh, with your son, as you're saying, he has to do that own self-examination and see where it's working for exactly. him when he does what he does or but when he says does what he says. Work for him. But when, your feel, it is just a, a, a feeling that he has. Well, he may be a narcissist. He must like himself a little too much and everybody I else think, is on I there. think so. Yeah. Because every man have, will do wrong. So will have, you, you, if you come up with that idea, it doesn't mean that that idea is yours alone. It's not. It was out there before. You just, you just happen upon it exactly. now. Exactly. Yeah. All right, thank you thank so you. much. Okay, bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cliff. Yeah, so again, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, <laughs> there, there are a lot of us out there, Jester, and you know that you, you meet them, and they look, just the way they look at you sometimes, you know, hmm, this is not somebody I want to be talking to. Because they, they, they look at you with disdain. They look at you with, like, you, who are you and why are you in my space? You can tell those people, eh? Mm. And when they start saying, oh, I did, they have the I disease. Everything I do, I this, I that, and I this. And like, there's no I in team, as everybody always say. So for things to work out for you, you have to learn to 
mesh with other people. And, and when you're like that, sometimes you become a lonely, lonely person because no one wants to be around you. And then you have a problem. Well, why is this people, people don't want to be around me? Check yourself. This is where you have to start first, with you, not with anybody else. It all comes down to you. And as Clifford says, nobody cannot change who you are. You have to be the common denominator. Point your finger at yourself. Yeah. <laughs> starts it's, with me. Yeah, the boy starts yeah. with me. It says, be a better child to your parents. And that one is powerful because there are some parents that allow their children to be the parent and they become the, the, ch the Especially the in today's society, man. I, sometimes what I see some parents succumb to, it bleeds my heart, <laughs> Claire, honestly. It bleeds yours? And well, really I think mine have any more blood in and it. And <laughs> the thing, the stand that they are taking, right? That they love the child so much, whereas... That is misguided love. Exactly. Misguided exactly. love. And, and let me read what it says. You only have two parents in your life. So appreciate the time you have with them. If your relationship with your parents is non-ideal, it doesn't mean that everything ends here. She says, I used to have a very poor relationship with my parents until I achieved a resolution in this area recently. So not all of us have relationship, good relationship with our parents. But there comes a time when a light bulb will go ping, and you get to tell yourself, hey, after that person is gone, they are no more. When your father is gone and your mother is gone, you become an orphan. And you cannot go back, you cannot go into the grave or into wherever they are and say, you know, can we go this place? Can we, can we have a talk? No. So that's why it's saying, be a better child to your parents. Because when they're gone, they are gone. As I always say, sometimes you have someone that is sick in your home and you know, you, you're going through all of the hardship with that person. But guess what, Jester? They are there. Yeah, you have and to you cherish. And you can still talk to them. Do we have a call? It can come in true. If you're calling, call 442-0175. 0975 would not get to us. So it's 442-0175. They are there. And when they are gone, your life is left empty. Because, you know, you sit down there and you're beating up yourself. If I did do this, and if I did do that, and I should have done this, I should have, would have, could have, wouldn't bring them back. <laughs> so that's what it's saying. Be a better child to your parents. Let me say good morning to Ruth Chiteman and Kenrick Gibbs. He says he's looking in. He's looking. Kenrick is looking in Grenada. I don't know what that means. Are you look? Are you somewhere else and looking on in Grenada, or are you in Grenada and you're looking on from Grenada? You should tell us where you are because we do like when people tell us where they are and we can say hello, good, good morning, and welcome to the real deal. 106, 106 Live Radio has tuned in. I think, I wonder if this is Carrie Co Sister Al, but thank you so much. 106 Live Radio. Oh, I know who this is. This is Tanisha and her hubby. Thank you so much for uh, checking in. They did the epic conference in Grenada. Thank you so much, Tanisha. I did send a link to her and they are on. Okay. Yes. So it's like it says, be a better child to her parents. And I just say, the life, the days that we are living in right now, it is very critical. And everybody is going different to what is the norm. And I've seen parents with their children, Jester, and it breaks my heart because I know if my children try that with me, they either dead or I'm in jail. I, I'm telling you. Because what I see children do to their parents right now, they're rude beyond. And don't get me wrong. You're supposed to speak up for yourself and have conversations. And if there are things that you, you're upset about, you can, you can let your parents know. You can tell them what you're upset about. But it doesn't have to go past that into the rudeness and the hitting back and the swearing words that you tell your parents. How could that be possible? How could that be normal? And parents, there are a lot of us parents out there that are afraid of our children. We won't speak to them. We are afraid to speak to them because they might just give you a backhand or tell you, shut the F up and all this kind of... I hear all this and I'm like, what is really going on, Jester? What? You see, Claire, that, that happens because some parents fail to put a firm grip on dealing with their children. They want to the be time, friends with their the, children. You know, from the time that the children start having in that 
that sense of doing certain things. And even from low, 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 little, 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 down, yes, yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I've seen a little boy that doesn't tell him what I shut up. And I'm like, what? You see, I mind my business in that cases because I don't want the police to come and jail me. I know. Because that, I'll... That, 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 about that. six, I'll slap him into the next Sunday. Honest to goodness. But hey, I'm not a parent. I... It's not my call. But sometimes you can tell a parent that is willing to let somebody else help them to discipline their children. That is, that is sad. And then there are those that you talk to the child and that is not your child. Mind your business. And you see the thing about the gesture. If that child will change along the way, that will be fine. But when you guide them that way, they reap havoc on the community later on. And when something happens to them, they do bad and the police also take them out. You come in, Oh, my child was this and my child was that. You lie. Because you know what? You don't have any reason for your children. Somebody come and lodge a complaint to you. And instead of you getting to say, well, okay, let me question what happened. They tell you where to go and then some. And the child continues. They continue on. Good morning, Betty James. NP, good morning to you. Yeah. Nicholas Snag, good morning. I know that you're listening. He's listening, Jester. You know, so we... We have to be children to our parents because when you take over the role of parents, as a child take over the role of the parent and the parent become the children, then we are in for a rude awakening gesture. Yeah. Rude, rude awakening. Children have, you know, it, it's still a beautiful thing to see when you're standing by the road or you're standing somewhere and a young man or a young woman pass and say good morning. You feel good still because that yeah. means there are some parents out there that are still doing what they have to do with their children to make them into better people. And don't get me wrong. You can do whatever you want with your children inside there sometimes. And when they get out there, it's a different kettle of fish you feel you're facing. Because sometimes when you hear what comes out of their mouth, you're wondering, is that my child? As I say, I raised two and I did the best that I can and I'm telling you something. When they went to school and the, the teacher said to them, you know, they question your kids and your children in the school and say, oh, especially if you go with a little bruise on your hand, oh, did your mommy do that to you? Or did your daddy do that to you? And you know that if you, your parent do that to you, you can call 911 and so. And they came home happy as a clam to tell me, oh, you cannot hit me with a wooden spoon anymore because me say that if you do, I could call the police. I put two of them sit down nicely and I said, let me ask you all something. Do I look like a crazy person to you? No. I said, okay. So when I pull out my wooden spoon, what happens? Well, you talk twice and you say the wooden spoon come not the third time. I said, okay. So if I take my wooden spoon and I give you and I wet you too, you want to call 911? Well, me said to call 911 and I said, well, let me put it this way. Which fingers are you going to lose, use to call 911 again? They show me. I said, okay. So anytime you decide that I discipline you and you want to call 911, I'm breaking it to the hammer. It's going to stay on it for 911 forever. <laughs> Simple. Because I cannot see that I am disciplined. And you see, society has caused our children to behave the way they behave these days, Jester. Because a lot of parents cannot discipline. They are afraid to discipline their children because the law is going to come in and so on. I... Remember, a policeman was outside my door one time. It's not, he was outside my door because he called. He came to find out where somebody else was living. He thought it was my door, and I said no. And they came for somebody's child. And my daughter, with her bright self, said to him, so if my mom beat me, can I call you to come and pick us up? Come pick me up? And, she said, and he said to her, I said, let me tell you something. You are in the best home. If your parent is disciplining you, that would need for a reason. He said there are children that call, like where he's going, to, for the police to come and take them. When they get to the homes, they're crying to go back home. The same home that they left, eh? Yeah. They're crying to go back because they think that when they go out there, it's going to be better, better. and it's going to yeah. be nicer and they could do whatever they want. No, because they have rules in there too. You have to go to bed at a certain time. You cannot be on your phone. You cannot be no lights on. So when they realize, well, I was home and I could have done this and I could, they're crying to go back. But I say to them, my door is not a revolving door. You go stay out. Yeah. 
And this is why, this is what we as parents have to do. Get, teach our children tough love. You cannot give them misguided love and love them and because you love them so much, you don't want to discipline them and you don't want to do this. You are causing them to be what you don't want them to be. So the freedom they have in, uh, they have in the parents' home, they don't have that in, in that... Um, in that homes, home. no. And they meet, watch, when they think they're bad, when they go out there, that's when they're meeting, but they have children that bad than them. And they're beating them inside that place, let me tell you. Yes. Yes, they're beating yes. them up. So when you take your blows, and the little wooden spoon I was giving you at home to, to give you any direction, and you get in the blows, stand take your blows, man. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Jester. Um, I think you must, we must first revisit where this sort of um, thing comes from. Since this group, Amnesty International, came on the scene and abandoned or had governments to abandon capital punishment, which I don't support, but people then take liberty because they cannot do me this and they cannot do me that, and I can do this and I can do that. Now remember, children going to school and the teachers cannot discipline them in school. Or if they go to school and they complain to the teacher that the parents do this to them at home, or you could call the police. But when the said child act up in school, they want to call the parents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the police now would come to you as the parent, who your hands become tied behind your back. and child take over the rule of the house. This is not so with me. It is so sad. I'm, I'm bothering 72 years and my mother and my grand uncle who was around they will send you somewhere and they tell you with two shakes of a donkey's tail you must go and come back. I'm spitting and don't let that spit dry. <laughs> You, you understand? Yes, I do. And you have to make it and be on time. You get up in the morning and you got to go to Mr. James, and Mr. James has to give you that side of side rocks bottle full of milk, and you must meet him in the land by 7 o'clock to get the milk. And if he had time go and he didn't collect the milk, you know what happened when you come back? You have to do things. Discipline. And your children have mm -hmm. to learn. You have to teach them. Some parents do allow their children to go astray from sin's birth. Because I was told and I learned that, that from inception of a child in the womb, the child begins to learn. 85% mm -hmm. of a child's learning is from the womb yep. till seven years. The other fifteen percent take you through the rest of your life how long you may live. And so children have to learn there and if your parents would not teach them from in there to pick up a book and read for them while they inside and when they come out they would not do the same. You know what is going on? Too many things is going to happen to them in life. Mm -hmm. The parents tell you, show me your company and I'll tell you who you are. Friends bring you, go on, they will bring you back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They teach you the wrong things on the road, what you were not taught at home. But when you reach outside, you're glad to accept it. And when you come home, you wouldn't say, Tom, tell me this, mommy. Is that right? You conceal it and you hide it. And then you go about doing things that are wrong. When you went down, go down and sleep with sleep. You will expect your parents to hand, stretch a hand to you. But my policy is that if I've been beating myself behind you from since both and then to that and then you turn to that. When you're gone down your sleep with soap, how you go don't come back up, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I believe in that, you know? Yep. How you go don't come back up because you were taught not to follow what people tell you outside that you perceive to be wrong things and then you accept it. I don't believe in that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Bye-bye. Yeah. yeah. Clearly, Carla makes some really, really important points, man. Well, you there's see, nothing else I, I could, we could add to that. Especially, uh, he's right about them, yes. Amnesty International. Mm -hmm. In fact, Carla have a song about them, Amnesty, who gave you the right. I, I never forget that. And it, it all leads to 
how we find ourselves in our society, how some but people operate, criminals. Like, <laughs> I just, know, I just said some, because I'm yeah, saying some, just, yeah. uh, you and I, they, they may have passed their stuff, the amnesty, they have to do whatever, and they make it, they just, according to me, they open Sipolka for everybody. But, you know, it all still comes back down to you and I and what we learned. Because that gentleman said he's born in 72. And I'm sure he has respect for people at that age that he is in. He will never pass and don't say hi to somebody or good morning to mm. someone. Children are passing watching you in your eye right now. And as though, you know, you dance, like you become a ghost to them. <laughs> you know, it, it's, and if you say good morning, fine. You don't say that's no, no big deal to me. But no growing up, and especially in the Caribbean, people, we are, we are, we are brought up to say good morning, good evening, even that is the only thing in hospitality we have. This is what we do. But when that has gone out the window, and as it says, you go to school, the teacher telling you, when your parents do that, to call the police to them. Now when they, <laughs> I remember when my son was 18 and, and he had to get his report. And I said to him, so what is going on with the report and stuff like that? And he said to me, well, I don't have to give you my report. I said, what? <laughs> that's what I told you. Yeah, but it's, it's, that's what the school say. You don't have to give me the report. I said, okay then, no problem. Don't give me the report. I hopped myself up in the school and I went to the teacher and I says, what do you mean by telling my son that he doesn't have to give me the report? And she says, well, when they reach that age, there is a, a law in the school that says they don't have to give you the report. I said, okay. So I went a bit further. I said, so if you do some sort of something in the school, who are you calling? She looked at me and I said, who are you calling? And she says, well, you are the parent. I said, no, don't call. If I cannot get his report because that's his right. It is my right not to accept the call. Don't, don't call me and tell me he does anything that is not pleasing to you guys. I said, because you see, this is where you all confuse children. One way, your parents can't do that, but when something goes wrong and they cannot deal with it, they call in the parents. Don't call me. It makes no sense. In no, I, yeah. I'm telling you, don't yeah. call. Because as the, the, the gentleman say, the teachers tell them, do, do this. And when they do that and they call in the parents, now, oh, your child does in school. What are you calling me for? What but are you calling me for? Since you confronted them on that day, they, they, well, did they know. change that policy then? Well, that, I don't know. That, well, it, it had to take more than me as a parent. And a lot of parents did not sit well with that at all. Because if you are just, uh, you're providing food, clothing, shelter, transportation, all right. these things to send that person to school. And you want to tell, tell me, me that, well, yeah, either you hold them, the look, that, you know. How they come about with such? I mean, Listen, they, 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 I always say these people sit down in their office, these men in suits, and so they sit down in the office and they make the, the, the rule, not thinking about how it's going to affect other people until the, it comes home to roost, and then you see they're backpedaling. The, most of us in this life are not proactive. We are reactive. We don't see things. We don't sit back and look at the thing in front of us. And, and make a decision. When it happens, that's when everybody jumping up. Oh, we should have done this. And be proactive and not reactive. We're going to take a commercial break, Jester, and we'll be right back. Grenbeck Community Partnership Initiative. On behalf of the Grenada Athletic Association, we want to thank Grenbeck for the presentation of the check. This is not the first time that they are supporting our character games. I can remember clearly in 2016, they were part of the celebration. You know that Grenlick has always supported us in all of our activities, in our development programs. They have been there with us and we are very thankful for that. And we sincerely hope that we will be able to, to keep them as one of our sponsors. Grenlick. Ozone really gets it clean. Get with the Ozone family line of products. Ozone liquid laundry detergent. Perfect for your semi or fully automatic washing machines. Yet suitable for your hand wash. Soft on your hands. 
ozone disinfectant cleaner. It's the most powerful disinfectant and cleaner with a long-lasting fresh scent. Tackles every job around the house or office. Ozone detergent powder and ultra soft fabric softener gets your clothes clean with a natural freshness. Keeps your colors bright. Choose from the wonderful scents. Soft flower, ocean breeze and the new aloe vera. Keep your kitchen sparkling clean with the ozone dishwashing liquid, ozone sponges and cleaning cloth. Ozone toilet bowl cleaner removes lime scale and kills germs while giving your toilet a refreshing scent. Ozone really gets it clean. Marketed and distributed by Calico, Frequente St. George's and are available at shops and supermarkets nationwide. The Grenville Cooperative Credit Union, the credit union of Grenville, takes you where you want to be. Feel secure with the Credit Union of Grenville, taking care of all your financial needs, including savings, loans, mortgages, and sound financial advice. Serving you with branches on Jubilee Street in Grenville, Lucas Street in St. George's, and new, spacious, convenient, and modern facilities on Seton Brown Street in Grenville and Grand Dance. Call us on 442-8602 or visit one of our offices with Grenville Cooperative Credit Union, the Credit Union of Grenville, your financial security is guaranteed. Get ready to witness the ultimate showcase of talent, speed, and determination at the 2024 Carifta Games. This prestigious event brings together the best young athletes from across the Caribbean, competing for glory like never before. With the motto, many people, one region, celebrating athletics, Carifta embodies the essence of Caribbean unity through sports, igniting a flame that illuminates the future of sports in the region. Don't miss out on this incredible event taking place at the Karani James Athletic Stadium from Saturday 30th March to Monday 1st April 2024. Get your tickets now at Grenadian Optical or visit GoToFed.com and secure your spot to be part of this extraordinary celebration of athleticism. Just say it is 8.39 and um, we are flying by so fast. So we are talking about how to become a better person. And children, if you're listening, be better to your parents. Regardless of if it's a one parent, if it's just your mother or if it's just your father, be better to your parents. And parents, if you are listening, talk to your children and try to be better parent to your child because it works both ways you know jester if your parent if you're a parent and you're not being good to your children you don't expect them to be good to you right of course you got so, to understand yes that. That so it's very it's important a, yes so children be better to your parents and parents be better to, the, to your children so your children will start going the other way because we don't want at the end of the day that we in a world where we lose control of everything even our children now it says, be a better friend to your friends. I used to be disappointed at how some of my friends weren't always there for me when I needed them. Then I realized that I should think about how I can be a better friend to my friends first before having such expectations of others. Likewise, for you, think how you can be a better friend to your friends. So it's always about just a, how come you're not doing this to me and how come you're not doing nothing? It's always we putting it out there first that you are not doing it for, for me. But then you have to switch it now. And I have to be a friend to you also so that it, it, one hand can clap, it's two. So if I am going to be expecting you to be a good friend to me, then I have to be a good friend to you. It's as simple as that. But these days in today's society, I don't think there are much genuine friends, you know, Claire. Trust me. I... You don't have to tell me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I... You see, yeah. just uh, there are um... a lot of people that call that word friendship and they use it loosely. Yeah. Because I could be passing and all because you say good morning to me and say, oh, you look nice. You are my friend. No, you're not my friend. Friends 
has to be deep. You have to know who it is that you only see me talking about my my fives, my peeps. And as I say, I don't. We don't call each other every day, every week, every month, or anything of that sort. But the minute we, I pick up a phone or they pick up their phone, it's like we never missed a bit. Because guess what? We respect each other's space and each other's life. And most of them are not by themselves. They have family and everything like that. And you have to give them the time to look after the family when they have the time for me or I have the time for them. We, we hang out. We good. We talk, you know? And these are the sort of friends that people really need. And you cannot be having a friend that is so high maintenance that if you don't call them one day, they're up in arms, they're mad. Oh, Claire didn't call me today. Or oh, Jester didn't call me today and this kind of thing. You can't because their life is not yours. Your life is yours. Make yeah. what make you make your life about you. And then you can spread it around afterwards. And as yeah. you say, a lot of people are not genuine today no. in, a, in friendship. Because who just uh, you have a friend and something happened to you. And you know what they say? Oh, you damn good for. <laughs> you know, she thinks she thinks with herself too much. What kind of friend is that? No. Instead of that person being sympathetic to you or empathetic or whatever it is, they're glad that this thing happened to you. <clears throat> Excuse so me. How, come you, how come you could be a friend of, of mine? You I can't. think a lot of people do get twisted with um, acquaintances and associates. As and friendship. What friends mm -hmm. really are, genuine mm -hmm. friends really should be. And I don't get twisted on that at all. No. Trust me. Am I your friend now? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> sort of? Okay. <laughs> That, 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 that's how you yeah. feel. That's how it is. Yeah. I am not. I'm not. Yeah. Listen, let me tell you no, something. No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. You are, you are, you are my girl. You know that. And I don't that. beg for friendship. You know, <clears throat> honestly, I don't. I don't go out there looking for to be friends with people because I kind of. I'll, although I look that way, I am very, very tight knit about about who I I hang with. Yeah, yeah. Very. Yeah. I don't just go out there and just helter skelter. Oh, my friend, this and my friend. No. You're not my friend. Mm. You, if you don't know certain things about me, you cannot be my friend. Yeah, and you had different levels of associates and, you know, acquaintances mm -hmm. too. You had it different the, levels. You have the, hi, how are you doing? Yeah, Bye. Exactly. And then, how are you? That you have then, how are you? How's your children? How are things going? That one. And then you have those when we have the powers that things affect you and you pick up the phone and you call and you have that power and you say, well, listen, how are you guys going to handle this? If I need to speak about something that is, I call Lorna, hey, I, I look at Lorna as the most mature of, of, the, of us all. Yeah. And I can just say things to Lorna, you know, just be myself and just, blah, just yeah. puke. <laughs> what, I like, what I like about Lorna, she has that way of how she does assess mm -hmm. things first before she come up. But, um, she's like a snag. A yeah, <laughs> come up with a finding. Yes, yeah. yes. You know, she. I, I could tell her. I could just <clears> talk. <throat> we we talk all the time, and the rest of them we are good. But you know, you have someone that you just want to just be. You just let it out and don't worry about if somebody hears it tomorrow. Because we've been like that. We've been friends for years and years and years, and and every one of them could say just uh, that if they say something to Claire that they will hear it somewhere else. Or if they say something to me, that, or I say something to them, that I will hear it somewhere. These are the, these are the people that I have in my yeah. life. Genuine Tried, friends are to be confidential. Tested yeah. and true. Yeah. These are them. Good morning, Veronica Edwards. Cynthia Bartholomew, good morning. Hope all is well. She's listening from Carrico, so that means you're back. Welcome back home. Yeah. Is it so, like Bushies, man? That's my friend. I well, know, I know we go everybody a long has to have way one, yeah. You know, the kind even, of thing we did already. And <laughs> Lorna <laughs> said, thanks, my dear friend. She's listening. Yeah. And, and she look, Lorna of all people know, and you might know that too. That when I open my mouth, Jester, all that flies out is truth. I don't, and if, if something happens to me or I do something, I wouldn't be afraid to tell you, well, you know what? This is what I said, and this <laughs> is what I did. Yeah. I am not a person that brings forth the, the, the side of someone else and make myself look good. No. I am the real McCoy. I, I chew as they come because, as I said to you, 
You pass by my house the other night to drop me something. And what? I, where was I? Dead in my bed mm-hmm. at seven o'clock, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it is a shame. Mm-hmm. And everybody everybody gives me a hard time about the time I go to bed. But listen, when I go to bed, I sleep. Yeah. I have nothing to worry about to say, well, I did harm to somebody or I, I did this and I can't sleep. I sleep because, you know, at the you end... You just sleep, you oversleep. I, sleep. I don't care what you do, <laughs> that's not your business. <laughs> I do that. And my mom says, I called you three times clear and I had no mm-hmm. answer. So well, you, if you called me once and you didn't hear me answer, you know I gone. Gone, that, gone. That reminded me of the days of old when you had to go inside six o'clock. You're sleeping, you're waking up, you're sleeping, you're waking <laughs> Yes. So, you know, these are the friends that you want to have. You have to be a friend to a friend. Be a good friend to your friend, a dear friend. So don't always expect the person to always be there. You looking, sit down there and you're waiting. Oh, how come Lana ain't call? And how come Jess ain't call? And how come this? You pick up that phone. Because you know what? That's why they call it a telephone. To talk to different people, not one person. I, I made an oath a long time ago, Jester. You might think I'm rash but i'm going to tell you if i am the one that is always calling and you never pick up your phone and call me i'll 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 let you go for a while and always call how you're doing and so but then you're getting cut out and you don't know because i stop and if you pick up the phone and you say oh but claire i haven't heard it for a long time i said that's why the phone worked both ways I, cut I think like it's fa- I think it it's is. fair. You that I mean, and, and, and it goes it goes both ways. Yes, know? and there are those friends again that only when they want something they know your number. I don't want friends like that. Yeah. When they want something or they want you to do something for them, they know where to find my number from and call and they make this small chit chat and oh how you doing long time no see girl and this other. But you know why my main main reason for in that case as soon as I call I ask what you want. Simple like that. What do you want? Because I know to myself, you're not calling me to be yeah, you know, yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just tell yeah. me what you want. Don't beat me around the bush. I don't have time for that. Don't waste my time. Tell me what you want. If I could, I'll do it for now. And I said, I'm not doing it. And that's it. Let's go. Move along. I, am, I could be rash like that, Jester. And I have my reasons for being that way. And that's my walls. I have walls. And they, some they are high as the walls that they have protecting the gold in Fort Knox. And if I let you in, I let you in. If I don't let you in, don't ask to come in. I'm not letting you in. That's as easy as it is. And that's who I am as a friend. I will be there for you no matter what it takes. If I have my last dollar and my good friends, my friends need it, there's no qualms in me taking it and just give it to you. Because I hold you near and dear as a friend. And that's why that program that I'm doing today is to make us better, better persons, better people. Yeah, well, the way I do operate, I kind of like how I do operate. And because somebody like me, I do have quite a lot of acquaintances and, or associates, mm-hmm. but very little friends. And I'll maybe... <laughs> And even my big son, I already make a statement the last time and probably think, um, no, nah, I'm not that, that too friend, friend, no. But because if you understand what true friendship is about, you mm-hmm. don't really you find that rest, out no. there. Yeah. You know, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's not that easy to find out there. So you wouldn't see me, you know, I'm going somewhere and my van is loaded with a number of, <laughs> of so-called <people>. friends mm-hmm. <laughs> going on lime and no, that's not happening, Claire. You see people? If, that's why I could jump uh, in the car. Yeah. When I said, Tessa, drive me this place. What are you? Claire, what are you? Mm-hmm. Claire, the car is yours. Well, yeah, it's mine now. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's how I could do that because I've known him for years and years. And as, as he knows me, if I upset and I say to him, I said, I don't want to talk to you. And I, don't, I just don't talk. We're done. But, you know, we're still friends. We're good. We're good like that. That's why he could sit around and I could tell him. A lot of the things that I say to Jester is because I could say to him and not, he won't take offense because he knows that it's not, I'm not saying it out of malice or anything. We have a call. Good morning. Good morning, Claire. How are you? I am good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. And Jester, good morning. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Ladies first. Don't feel no way. (laughs) Of course not. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh god it's good to hear you guys this morning lovely to hear you guys this morning thank you um just checking in with you guys i've uh, been listening for a while and 
before I get bogged down in doing the government work, so mm-hmm. to speak, I mm-hmm. say, let me take uh, five minutes and give you guys before the nine o'clock hour reach around. Mm-hmm. Um, the topic this morning, you know, you know, you know, improving yourself, self improvement. That's basically what you're talking about mm-hmm. in a nutshell. And in order to improve yourself or to change yourself, you have to make yourself uncomfortable with what you're doing. Because mm-hmm. if you're good with what you're doing, why change? Exactly. Why change? Yeah. Yeah? There's no reason for you to change. And you, you, you're basically repeating the same thing. Um, for me, uh, personally, a couple of things that I, I, I don't like about myself is that I am like player. I would tell you a spade is a spade and that's it. <laughs> How you feel about it, I really don't care. Yeah? Yay. Yeah. And, and that... That in 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 the in the society that I find myself living now doesn't all don't go work. well. No, no, doesn't go well. Mm-mm. But I know exactly what yes, I'm talking yes, about. Yes. Just yeah. I don't know. But funny it. enough, these are the sort of people that I really like and appreciate. You know, those that will tell you. Thank you so much, Justin. No, I'm telling you honestly. <laughs> honestly, it's better that way than the person go Hippo. behind your back Hippocracy. and then said, yeah. "Let me tell you right in front of your face, right there and then, what's the situation." How exactly. They feel. Yeah. Exactly. It's better exactly. that way. So let me let me give you a concrete example of what changed me when I came to that. I used to work for a company, and we did business in the United States and in Canada. And I went to the states one time in Michigan and visited this plant, and we had some training there. And you you got there, and you just you looking around. For me, I'm looking around, and I see. No black faces whatsoever, none. Mm-hmm. Till I got to the cafeteria, and all I saw was black faces serving food. So we went out into the back, and the only black face I saw actually working for the company was a gentleman working on the receiving dock, receiving goods coming into the company. Mm-hmm. And I'm there, and I'm like, what the heck is going on? This is Michigan. Detroit is less than half an hour away, and there's no black people working here. Something is wrong. Yeah, so I had a conversation with the gentleman who was looking at us, what's going on here? So he says, well, and then at the same time, his supervisor was approaching, he just went mute. He did not say anything. I said, okay. I said, brother, I got you. I understand clearly. And when I came back into the Canadian and the Canadian side, and I'm talking to my colleagues about that, and none of them noticed it. Not one noticed mm-hmm. it. It was normal. To them, it was normal. I said, why you guys think that's normal? You know? So, and I had a few other experiences like that between the two sides. And the difference I saw, the, on the American side, they would tell you straight up. Straight up. Mm-hmm. I don't like you and that's because it. of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah? But the other side, they would smile with you, and knife you laugh with you, mm-hmm. drink with you, but behind their back, behind your back, they have a totally different way of speaking about you uh-huh. and looking at you and everything else like that. As they say, so that is I, underneath I, racism that we have on the other side. <laughs> for, for me, I just <laughs> develop as a like, you know what, I don't care. I won't tell you exactly what I think, how mm-hmm. I think, and I, and I don't care. But in this society that I find myself in, mean, you can't do that. And I find not too much people appreciate that candor of you being candid and saying, hey, listen, this is what I see. This is how I perceive it. This is how I look at it. This is what I see. And they don't think, they think not glowingly of you for mm-hmm. you telling them what you see and what you, you are getting from them. So that aspect for me, I'm really trying hard not to do it. When you get there, take me with you, please. <laughs> <laughs> because I've been, I, I've been told a lot of times, well, no, I've been told yes. a lot of times, Claire, Claire, you can't say that. And why can't I say it is the truth? Well, I, you know, and I come across it a lot in, in, in customer service. When I get something that's not very good, I speak about it right there mm-hmm. and then. And when I get something good, I praise it yes. right there and then. Mm-hmm. And the, 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 the not so good when I'm speaking about it, I say, well, why are you behaving this way? And, they, you know, oh, well, who you think you are? You just come back and blah, blah. I said, no. I said, good is good and bad is bad. There's no way of saying it any other way. What do you expect me to say? I said, it doesn't work that way. Yeah? So for me, I, I really and truly try to stop and think before I say anything. 
you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. Um, even just the other day, I was out with, with my daughter, and the way the person was speaking to me, she cringed because she knew I was going to pick them up on it. <laughs> and I looked at her, and I saw the, the, the uncomfortable look on her face, and mm. I stopped. Mm. And I did not say anything. She looked at me and said, why didn't you say anything to her? I said, because you look very uncomfortable. You look as if you're about to jump out of your skin. And she said, yes, because I'm trying to figure out what are you going to say to that person, how you're going to say it, and how their reaction is going to be. So I said, okay, I, I, I'm going to stop. And t- that triggered me to say, you know, that aspect of myself, I'm going to try and control it a little bit more than I'm doing in the present. And I, I'm not waiting for the quarter to ten thing to tell you. That's one thing I'm really trying to change about mm-hmm. me. And to change things about you, about your character, that, that speaks to who you are, is very difficult. Mm-hmm. It's very mm-hmm. difficult. And like I said, the only way you're going to change is when you make yourself uncomfortable with that character trait. Because if you're accepting it, that, oh, that's just me, mm-hmm. you're not going to change. Exactly. And that works for your personal relationship, your business relationship, your friends. Everything. And everything. It everything. works everywhere. If you don't make yourself uncomfortable, you're not going to change. Even your living condition. If you, you know, you're living in some place and you don't like it and yet still you're still there, there's something about it that you're comfortable with. Exactly. That's why you're not moving. Yeah, you won't move. Yeah. I totally agree. Well, I shouldn't agree to you, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and personalities, personalities from, you know, it's not till I uh, just uh, come with age comes with them. I started learning about emotional intelligence and being able to respond to certain things in a, not in an emotional way sometimes, but, you know, look at it and says, okay, this is how I'm supposed to react. Yeah? That's why that person is doing that. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And they, they needle you to get that angry going. And once you get angry, you start, you don't think, you just react. Because it's like your fight or flight mode. Yes, yes. And, and, and I, I was speaking with a therapist, and she was telling me, she says, listen, when you're angry, there's only two things. Either you fear something, or you don't understand it. One of the two. You figure out which one it is, and deal with it. Deal with before it. Yeah. you let that anger get to yeah. a point where you do or say things that doesn't really affect, reflect you yeah. or what you're thinking about your situation. So if somebody making you angry and he says, well, why am I angry? He says, like, okay, that person is making me afraid because something I've did, they're going to expose me or whatever the situation is. Mm-hmm. Or you don't understand what the heck they're talking about. So you just react. And it's not a good thing. No, because you say things. And that's why I applied it 24 hours. Um, when I was working um, back there, one of my, my immediate boss says to me, he says, Claire, I know you get upset sometimes when people don't do what you want, what you have to do, they have to do. He says, but let me tell you something. Take 24 hours. I said, all that? <laughs> he said, take 24 <laughs> hours. You want, you want to drop the hammer <laughs> yes. and the handle right there and then. He said, take 24 hours and think about it and come back tomorrow. And I said, okay. So I've learned to apply the 24 hours rule. It doesn't, ha- it doesn't work all the time. It depends on what's position I'm in and sometimes I just do the walk away I walk away and when I walk away it's because I walk away because I am not going to see what I'm saying because it's going to cause a lot of chaos so I do the walk away or I take the 24 hours so what you're saying there is good advice for me also because I know how I can be I'm straight as they come I shoot from my hip and if I know I'm telling the truth there's nothing on God that's going to stop me so let me just come out right by everybody well, clear for me, I don't even take the gun out of the holster. I just point the holster to you and pull the trigger. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so I know that about myself. So I really and truly try okay, Clint. really hard to control that immediate reaction. Yes. Um, um, just that I don't know if you can relate to that, but sometimes you find yourself in a situation and that's, that reaction just go. You snap and you're, you're reacting and you're talking and you're saying things. And, you know, so for me, I really and truly try to put that into play. Even with my business dealings, what I do, somebody, a ridiculous email, making some ridiculous demand of me, I just, you know, I would type the email and I would just say, you know what, save and draft. Mm-hmm. And most times, most times, 
I don't even go back. I go in the draft and say, why are all these emails in draft? And I go to say, oh, God, did you really write that? Mm-hmm. Thank God you didn't send, send it. it. Yes. Thank you so much, as usual. If you need to call me back, call me back. Right. We have to go to news. It's 9 o'clock. Right. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Thank you. Triple N. Informative, entertaining, and first. Every hour on the hour. This is the latest update of news as produced by Triple N. The details when we return. M&M Hardware Limited, Hope St. Andrew and Dusty Highway St. George. Shop conveniently for all your building materials including plumbing, electrical, lumber, cement, steel and much more. We manufacture roofing sheets available in 11 colors, aluminum windows, doors, insect screens and hurricane shutters. Installation services are available for all our manufactured products. Our opening hours are Monday to Friday 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturdays 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. M&M Hardware Limited. Come on in and experience our affordable prices or call us. 444-6757 Dusty Highway. Email us at info at mahornhardware.com or M&M Dusty at mahornhardware.com M&M Hardware. Foundation to roof. Let's build together. Hello and welcome back. Locally, the Grenada Meteorological Service, Grenada Airport Authority, join the rest of the meteorological community to celebrate World Meteorological Day under the theme, At the Frontline of Climate Action. World Meteorological Day was celebrated on March 23rd, and as a part of this year's activity, Grenadian Meteorological Service prepared information to help raise awareness of the office's role in working towards Sustainable Development Goal 13 to take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. In the region, Ecuador's youngest mayor found dead amidst gang violence. For nearly three months now, the situation in the Latin American nation of Ecuador has remained volatile. There's been persistent unrest and soaring violence as the government cracks down on gangs. And the latest victim of the spiraling violence is the country's youngest mayor. 27-year-old Bridget Garcia, the mayor of San Vicente City, was found shot dead. Her body and that of her communications director, Jairo Lu, was found in a rented car in Manabi province. Investigators say the shots were not fired from the outside of the vehicle but inside. And now, they are tracking the car's GPS to get more details. The government is pushing the investigators to fast-track the probe in the case. Garcia was part of former President Rafael Correa's Citizen Revolution Movement Party. The party's presidential candidate in the recent elections, Luisa Gonzalez, took to social media to condemn the killing. She said, nobody is safe in Ecuador. Her remarks highlight the long prevailing gang violence in Ecuador. Garcia is not the only Ecuadorian leader who has been assassinated in recent times. Last year, in August, presidential candidate Fernando Villavicencio was also shot dead. A sharp anti-corruption and anti-gangs campaigner, Villavicencio was killed by one of the local gangs. Ecuador was once a relatively safe and stable country. But the growing presence of Colombian and Mexican drug cartels has shot up crime in recent years. Narco bosses use Ecuadorian ports to ship drugs to the United States and Europe. To battle the growing violence, Ecuador President Daniel Noboa declared a state of emergency in January. Internationally, British Deputy Prime Minister Oliver Dowden tells lawmakers that entities linked to the Chinese government were behind the alleged access of a personal details of 40 million UK voters and cyber attacks on lawmakers critical of UK China. UK Deputy Prime Minister Oliver Dowden has accused Chinese state-affiliated actors to be involved in two cyber attacks on the UK. The hacking of the Electoral Commission and attacks were aimed at parliamentarians. He said that the UK and its allies will stand in solidarity against the malicious cyber activity and that the Chinese ambassador is being called in to be held to account over these incidents. Addressing lawmakers, Dowden accused Chinese hackers of trying to break into the email accounts of British lawmakers who were critical of China and say the separate Chinese entity was behind a hack of its electoral watchdog that compromised millions of people's data. And in sports, Brazil winger Vinicius Jr. says he feels less and less like playing football because of the repeated racist abuse he has suffered. Last season, there were 10 such incidents against the 23-year-old reported to prosecutors by La Liga. During an emotional news conference on Monday, Vinicius added he would he would not be forced to leave Real Madrid and Spain and let racism win. However, he said he was finding it hard to move forward from the abuse. This ends the latest news update. I am Angel Augustine. Thank you for joining us. 
Triple N. Informative, entertaining, and first, every hour on the hour. The Holy Family Catholic Church Riversali St. Patrick invites everyone to their annual harvest and dance on Easter Thursday. Easter Thursday, April 4th, 2024 at Riversali Government School. Harvest time, 2 p.m. Children's bashment from 4 p.m. Adult dance from 9 p.m. Lots of eats and drinks on scene. Music by a popular DJ. See you there. you ready? Attracting 14 teams, the Montreal Football Tournament is set to begin. The competition will start on 7th April with an entrance fee of $250. Registration ends on March 31st, 2024. This competition will be on a first-come, first-served basis. What are you waiting for? Register today! To register, contact Bandy on 419-6429 or Bevin on 420-3777. Don't miss out. This will be a competition to remember. In an industry where customers expect quality, M&N Hardware Limited is a leader in locally manufactured aluminum windows, doors, roofing, and guttering. Our manufacturing division is efficient, flexible, and will always go the extra mile to surpass customer expectations. If you need security, sash, casement, or projected windows, we're able to do it. Our security and heavy-duty doors are state-of-the-art and can be customized specifically for you. Using innovative coating technologies and protective film, our roofing and guttering is weather-resistant, providing outstanding color retention for many years. Available in 24 and 26 gauge and a variety of color options. We are the leading company. A family that is proving to customers they can have their dream products. M&N Hardware Limited. Foundation to roof. Let's build together. 50 years as an independent nation. Now that's a reason to celebrate. Bank on a bright future with Quad Bank. As we celebrate more than 50 years of partnership with Grenadians. Aspire, build and advance with 100% financing to buy land, purchase or build your home or make those much needed home upgrades. No loan fees, no legal fees, low interest rates. And that's not all. 100% financing on brand new vehicles with 50% off loan fees. Celebrate you this year with special financing from Quad Bank. Apply today. Welcome. Angie, Angie, don't you know that you should not fly a kite near electrical poles and wires? You should only fly it in open areas. If the kite gets stuck, you can cause power outages throughout the village. Then I'll just pull it down, Johnny. Simple? No, no, you shouldn't do that. You can get shocked. You should call Grand Lake at 237 and they will come and help. Alright. Grand Lake, energize. back back so we talked about being good friends and so now we're talking about being a better friend now we're talking about being a better sibling no but before we move on i'd like to um kind of comment on one of the things that mr stark make mention <laughs> because these days claire you cannot afford for people to affect your mental state <laughs> based on the action you, <laughs> you know what i'm saying so uh -huh. Sometimes you gotta count to reach ten in truth before you react to certain situations. You mean if you can count? Yeah, if you oh, can, if you can count. count, you know. And for example, I used to 
display a, a, a bit of more road rage sometimes based on how a driver might what they might tend to tell me mm-hmm. on the road but these days i just just, just pass it off you know, just you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. you know because mm-hmm. instantly before i would just say man you watch you <laughs> Oh, I, I, I can't I, see what I the food like to say. No, you don't, you don't yeah, so. Just let him go. No, I, the, the fear of me is not no gone. You know, I prefer I will die for certain things. I don't even bother, you know. But, mm. I mean, it just don't make sense to be some... Yeah, because you use so much muscles yeah, just, to get angry. You know what I mean? And then mm. it affects your whole mm-hmm. mental whole state. Demeanor, your, yeah. on your, 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 your health as well, you know, because well, yes. your pressure coming. Everything. You know, I know you have people... Who died as a result of mm-hmm. you know Getting after angry. a quarry yes, and yes. yeah yeah so yeah. you you can't give people that kind of um, <laughs> satisfaction. No, I say, don't rent space this. in your head to think about yeah. this thing. Yeah, 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 don't, yeah. don't 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 do so, that. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to better siblings now. He says I have several friends who are the only child and they frequently talk about how they wish they had brother a brother or a sister. If you're fortunate enough to have a brother or sister, treasure them, spend more time with them, show them care and concern. Look out for them if you need to. And that's quite true because sometimes we, you know, we have a brother, we have a sister, and we really and truly, we don't get along. You understand? You don't get along with just because you come from the same, as I said, the same womb, but everybody come out with different characteristics. And sometimes they rub you the wrong way. And you just say, you know what? I don't want to deal with it. I just cut. It's a sad I, thing. I am like that when things bother me too. But then... As he said, sometimes you reflect and you're like, you know, this is your brother. And don't get me wrong, I would do, I would do anything for them still, and I just, I just lessen my words. You understand? Yeah. I lessen, lessen my words. I don't, I don't waste time to think about it because if I do, I am this sort of person that is a very, I get very emotional when things like that happen to me, and I take it on and I think about it and I think about it, and then something drastic takes and I said, okay, Claire, just let it go. And with the let go, I just cut. But there are there are some siblings um they are you, really bitter yes, with each other. Yes. I mean, it's really, really sad. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, your mother and your father grow you up to love and care for each other, look out for each other and then maybe But then I, again, it's sometimes so, according um, to death does a lot to getting biz- bitterness between yeah, siblings. Yeah. Because if they think, well, okay, I am her favorite child and she died and she lived this for me, and it's nothing like that, it causes a lot of chaos in families and brothers and sisters at each other. And at the end of it, all of us dead. And the thing that we are fighting about is still there behind. Not, he cannot speak, he cannot do anything. So I always say, do not, I am not the sort of person that hold on to material things. Don't get me wrong. If you have something, you don't want it to be destroyed. But I would not hold on to it for dear life that something happened to me and it happened to it and it kills me. This is not who I am. I am going to live one day at a time. Whatever happens, happens. And that's it. I'm not going to go, if my mom passed, to say, well, she lived this for this person and, and I'm going to make a big deal about it. No, because my life is better than that. I like peace and tranquility in mind. Whoever wants whatever it is, take it. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how I that's how I am, and I'll continue to be like that because I've from the time I've known myself to be in my true being. I don't see anything that I want that badly that could make me switch to who I am to become that bitter person. Yeah, it ain't happening. It's really really a sad no, thing. I'm telling yeah. you, some parents may be turning in the grave when <laughs> based on what is happening and with with. with with siblings their children. Yeah, but then yeah, some parents so. create it too because that's why jester and i encourage everybody and people think that when you make a will you are asking for death no you're just settling things for if in the in the um thing that something happened to you because when you don't is when you cause all the chaos that oh. happens in in that you remember we had a whole program on yes this, on yes this thing. yeah i had a, a, a lady from toronto that spoke about it because when you don't they fight for a saucer that has a little gold rim on it and oh my mom gave it to me when I, your mom didn't leave that in the wheel so it's up in, in the air for anybody you make a living will that you could change anytime you feel like it's not about death it's about causing some sort of normalcy in the life of the people that you leave behind. And some parents make, they say, I'm not making no will. Let her fight for what I have. Why? 
Yeah, that, that, that doesn't yeah. make sense. If you could avoid that, just avoid, avoid it. it. They don't make yes. any sense. I don't have anything, because, but I make, I make will already. Yeah, because, because if they are seeing that, definitely what they're leaving behind is just bitterness. Yes, and a whole yeah, lot of it. That doesn't make sense. Siblings don't talk into this other. Some of them even go over for They take out one another. They kill one another for it. And then the thing just there. You in jail, the person that and the, the whatever you're fighting for, it's not the government gets it back. Because once there's no one, today become the property of the government of the day. So... Be a better partner if you are attached. So it says, if you have a girlfriend, wife, boyfriend, husband, think about how you can be a better partner to him or her. When you are in a relationship, it is easy to make demands and have expectations about your partner, how you should do, how sh what you should do or be. It's more difficult to take ownership of what you aren't doing or being yourself. Commit yourself to be a better partner and release your expectations of your partner. Both of you will be happier that way. So, Jester, me and you, partner, boyfriend, this. I want, ev I want, I want what I want. You want, you want what you want. We aren't compromising on that at all. So that's why we have the problem that we have with a lot of partners. The husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend have what it is because no one is willing to bend because everybody makes demands. But it's saying that if you put yourself in the position that I am in and I put myself in the position that you are in, it's going to be better. We're going to be happier together. Is that a yes or no? Or no? Yes, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Totally agree. So people out there that have relationship, this is what it's saying to be to have a better one. Put yourself in the position of that person and let the person do likewise. They have to be willing, though. Both of them have to be willing to do that because I wouldn't want to make the change and you keep your thing together by yourself. No, it won't work. Then we have going down splitsville no matter what. So there where the word compromise comes in. Again, so, yes. As a classical example. It says, if you have children, be a better parent says, my parents have told me that having a child is one of the most amazing things that have ever happened to them. If you have a child or children, think about how you can be a better parent to them. Raising a child is challenging at every stage of the child's life, with new things to learn and new problems to conquer. But that's also part of being the joy of being a parent. And as we spoke about it earlier this morning, we didn't come to the parent yet, but as the gentleman says, the parents that do not take care of their children or do not to teach their children what is right and what is wrong. This year is telling us what we to do. Be better parents to them. And if we do, a lot of our children are going to be better than they are right now, Jester. Of course. And right, obviously, right now, we will have a better society. Totally. Because yeah. what we create today is what we're going to reap tomorrow, you know. Exactly. Exactly. What we create today is what we are going to reap tomorrow. So let's be better parents to our children. Be a better employee if you work for someone. Often, I hear people complain about how their companies aren't giving them enough benefits, wages, support, etc. While this may be true, think about how you can be a better employee. Check if there's anything more you can do for your for your manager. See if there are any new projects you can take on. See how you can improve your current performance. So that's why they have performance review at the end of the year to see how you perform. Because some of us, we go to work. And if our work is to fill the milk jug, that's it. That alone that is being done. Fill the milk jug. But Claire, funny enough, you know, on my program, not Saturday gone, the one before, mm -hmm. I was making the point that I heard you. <laughs> of, with the unions. Yes, yeah. But they're not telling people to go and do their eight hours job um, fully. You only hear them mm -hmm. vocal when it's time to make noise for money for the workers, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't hear them encouraging workers to like give to give a fair day's day's pay. Exactly. Well, honest day's work for the pay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it says, yeah. So if you if you they hire you to do to fill the milk jug. You think you want to go through your whole working life for 20 years just filling the milk jug? You are doing a disadvantage to yourself. yourself because you only go to room you, at no, one level. Work. And you think yeah. when, if you say you lose that job, somebody's going to just take you because you say, I'm filling the milk jug. They want the, the milk jug filled. They want the, the kettle filled. They want everything. So the more you make, your, the more versatile you, be, you become in where you work. Is it better for you? You can land anywhere yeah. when you are like that. 
because you have a little idea of different things that you can do and that will land you in a, in a different job. So, be a better employee. Now it says, you see, they don't just give you one or not the other. Be a better manager or leader if you're managing others. He says, many people leave their jobs because they are unhappy with their managers. How well you manage your employees can dramatically affect their motivation level and performance. Put their needs before yours and bring out the best in them. And that is good. That goes for each and every one of us that are managers. You have to, you hear me talk about Richard Bronson, and that again is where you, think. you find out, you talk to your, your, your employees, you talk to your workers, find out what makes them tick, what it is that they would like to do and stuff like that. And it's not all about fun and games. So you have to stick to your, your rules and so but at the same time you cannot be that rigid that you're not going to be flexible in, in things. And you as a manager, one thing I admire about you, you lead by example. I try. Yeah. I yeah, try. I admire you for that. Yeah. Like you see, I've given you a flaw. You know I always be giving well, giving flaws. Well, yes. You, you know I, I don't want flaws again. Bring me in yeah. diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> the flaws and them those, you know, dry them and hang them up. Yeah, but but thank you. I, I honestly yeah. try because I don't think anything is too good for me to do, anything too bad for me to do. If I anything's need to be done and I see that I can do it, I will do it. Yeah. And this is how not only in our whole life we have to lead by example. But when I came in Saturdays, I realized something. No, was yeah, something was doing right Saturday, something and it's still not right. What, well, what was it, man? I didn't get that. That, that nice that, fresh feeling. Yeah, that from posh the look from the time I. No. And that. I wasn't. Smell I wasn't already everything. here most of the day on Friday, so and you know, stuff happens. So you just move along, but you know, every <laughs> everything has it, it, it's it's time and its okay, place. So it's okay, going to be fine. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. No worries there. Yeah. Now it says. Be a better member of your community. And I can give you that. I know you're always, because let me tell you, people may look at you, Jester, and um, we're giving flowers this morning. I don't know if you like flowers, but I'm giving you now. <laughs> people may look at you every time there is a sporting event or sport meet, and you make it exciting because let me tell you, if I was listening to sports on the, on the radio without seeing it, you paint the picture for me as to what's going on, and I can put it in my mind's eye and see the runners and, oh, every, and everything like that. What you do, you go to all these different sports meets and you call this and so, and you don't get paid for it. Oh. And a lot of people believe that, you know, you are being paid. The, that's what do, they think, you know. Well, I'm, well hush. <laughs> hush. Me not okay. speaking now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people think that you get paid to do what you're doing, but you do it for the love of the game and the love of your community. And for this, I say thank you and kudos because I know you. I know the sun when you have to stand in that sun and do this, and you know you have to be on the, on the, on top of the you know the names of the schools, the the teams that run, the colors that they go by, and everything. You do an amazing job, yeah, really and you. truly. Thank you. And that's thank why you. I, I was telling you, why don't you apply to go to Intercall? Because you know you you give it some oomph. You make it alive. Like when I used to listen um, cricket with Tony Cose and, and the other man. Red Sparrow. Yes. Just I had yes. love cricket because they make cricket. Like when I take myself and I'm going to watch cricket, I said, what? <laughs> Never me again. <laughs> Not going. Ooh. So, you know, when people hear the voice of people that carries things to them, it, it makes you want to listen. It makes you want to do it. And, but then I say to you, you do an amazing job. Keep at it. Even though you're not getting paid, call me. I might bring a smoothie for you or something yeah. when you're hungry. But yes, we got a call. Good morning. Good morning, Claire, again. <laughs> Good morning again. <laughs> morning again. I, I, I call him back to pick up Jester, mm -hmm. where the union is concerned. Junior, uh, uh, I'm a unionist. <laughs> I will start yeah. there. So I declare my bias up front. <laughs> <laughs> I am a unionist. I, I stand with union. Um, I, I hear you, um, Jester, where you, this is what we hear. And um, last, uh, last week I attended uh, my union um, annual general meeting. And I told them that, just as you say, because I hear Claire said it to me a week or so ago, mm -hmm. that all they hear from the union is that they're fighting for this and they're fighting for that. Yeah? So, unions do a lot for the working class people. And what you hear 
is because something has gotten to a point where it is unbearable and it comes out in the public, as, as you say, and they're fighting for wages. I would start to say wages in Grenada are way too low, and I would stop there. How we solve it, that's a matter for us, for us in society to come together and, and work on it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would also chastise the union leadership to say that, listen, not just when something is happening, you go there and speak. Why don't you go and speak about some of the things that we've done to improve in the workplace? And they have done a lot of things to get improvement in the workplace, not just wages or benefits, but, you know, workers. And I can speak for our union is that anytime we have a meeting with shop stewards or with the general working uh, people, everybody's uh, at it that you must do what you are employed to do, not necessarily just what the job description says. Mm-hmm. If something needs to be done, you do it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And, and, and don't even talk about health and safety. That's always pronounced every day that you have to do your work. You cannot come to work and expect to do five hours work and be paid for eight. That is always said. In every meeting that I've gone to, that is always spoken about and, and, and pushed. Um, but like Jester says, this is what he hears, and th- what just Jester's perception is now become his reality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I I told them I think we need to change that narrative and be putting out there some of the positive things that union has done. Yeah, a bit more here's PR. One in. That, uh, <laughs> yeah. here, here's one that you and everybody else in Grenada, working in Grenada, takes for granted. Men and women from the union died so that you would have an eight-hour workday, as opposed to working from sunup to sundown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's real. That is real. Vacation. You know, it, it, it wasn't laws. It was the union that fought so that people can actually have time off from work. Vacation time. That was a union fought. People actually fought, physically fought, when and died for that to happen. Yeah? So... And, and I'm not talking people far away, just I'm in Trinidad. I, I'm trying to recall his name while I'm speaking to you. Fought for, you know, all those things so that we can have these, these things that we're enjoying. And all of that is to say, you know, I'm just picking you up on it. Just I'm not going <laughs> to let that one slide. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you see, the thing is, maybe in, in, in house with your members, right, your your urge them to, to do that, but publicly, you know, at large, we don't hear that coming from the union, and as you say, maybe the PR need to be more up, so that people, you know, have that kind of perception now that, you know, changes the whole kind of way of how we think with regards to our union leaders and what they encourage our workers to do. Let me ask you well, something. I, I, I agree, mm-hmm. and agree, and, and it also beholds on the fellow employees when you see a, an employee doing something that you know they're not supposed to do, speak up and tell him about it. You, and you don't necessarily go to the manager and, and, and say, complain, but go to that individual and say, hey, but what are you doing there? That's not right. You know you're not supposed to be doing that. Why are you doing it? You disappear for a whole hour or an hour, hour and a half. Nobody knows where you are and what you're doing. You can't do that. You understand? Mm-hmm. Pull that employee up right there and then and tell him, listen, what you're doing there is wrong. And that's not allowed to be that's happening. Yeah. yeah? Let me and ask you, is, if, is the guy you're talking about... accounts like that. Is the guy talking about Uriah Buzz Butler? I didn't Actually, hear that. Is it Uriah Buzz Butler you were talking about? The Correct union? is right. Correct See, is I right. See, I bright, man. Let me tell you. University <laughs> 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 I tell you. <laughs> Look at Saul Boosting as that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that name. I just remember that name from a long, long time ago. Yeah. So that's why exactly. he says he's trying to remember I mean, the name. Was, yeah. Exactly, and he was killed. You yes, know? yes. So, so this is to say that this thing is not no joke. I've said I mm-hmm. declared my bias up front. I am a unionist. Yeah, and I will always be because of what we, you know, they fought for. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you know when every all the the theory say, oh, you're fighting for this. Come on. We all have to live. The, 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 if you sit in there and waiting for your, the, the company to out of goodwill to say, okay, here's a $5 raise or here's a $2 raise or here's a 1% raise, you think they're really going to do it? No. If no. they can get away with it, no, sure. they yeah. would not. <laughs> they would not. Yeah. Look, look how long, when is the last minimum wage increase um, provided by the government, which is us? Mm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
10, 15 years ago. Or, 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 or I think the last in, um, in, increase I saw, I can remember if I'm wrong, somebody will correct me, was when the, la, uh, the, the last NDC administration was and they raised the minimum wage for the security workers. Okay. If, if my memory serves me correctly, that's the last one I can recall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I may be wrong. And I'm subject to correction. That's the last one I can recall. I'm declaring it up front. That's what my recollection is. Mm-hmm. And to see that is re- it's been raised now, and a lot of the employees are crying out, oh, they can't afford to pay it, and all kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank it's, you. It's, it's, they're, they're reality, yeah? Yes, thank you um, so much. But, Set just the street. Yes. But <laughs> I come up, yeah, Claire, <laughs> yes. You, you <laughs> identify one of my entrepreneur's heroes. You know, Mr. Branson with Virgin Group. Oh, yes, I yes, mean, yes. I admire that man. Oh, like, yes. I talk about him all the time. How he speaks about his employees. Mm-hmm. And when you read his um, his points that mm-hmm. he's passionate about, employees are always up in the top three. Yes, yes. And you know always the funny, up in the top three. I was yes? saying that to and someone. And profit is always in the bottom. Exactly. Three. And because he knows the why? name of all what, you put, what your employees do drives mm-hmm. your profit. Exactly. How they behave drives mm-hmm. your profit. Yeah? And so, you know what that does for him? If he is at a stage where his company is going bankrupt, believe me when I tell you, all, and I mean all of his employees are going to step up and bring him back to, to life. Because he makes it his duty to know the name of every one of his employees, the other children and everything. And if everybody else takes a little page from, just a little pinch of the page from the book, they're going to make it. You know, um, Claire, just, just before we share, i talking about that employees. I, I'm, for my manager, I do the opposite with him. You know, I review him. I says, you're not doing this well. You're not doing that well. And you're not doing this well. Mm-hmm. This is what I suggest to do to improve. Yeah. And we have this running conversation constantly. Yeah. And that's yeah. healthy. And- it's exactly. good when a manager yeah. could willing and accept yes. these sort of things. Yes, not, that's not all you will find like that. You know? No, 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 no. <laughs> With this current one, yes. With the, yeah. the prior, mm. no, that did not exist. Yeah. I also yeah. say, always say that there is a chair that you sit on. Once it says supervisor or manager, some of us, it goes to our head and we forget about everything else. Right. Yeah. And, and the, 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 the other thing is that, you know, we as humans don't like criticism. No. Criticism is one of the best things that can happen to you. It makes because you, it that grow. tells you mm-hmm. there is a way for you to, there's a path for you to grow. Yes. Yeah. If yes. somebody can point it out to you, which means it's there and it exists. Yep. Exactly. And if you're not paying attention to it, it cut me, you'll come back and you're and I'm nip bite you, you in the yes, behind. Right where? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you turn yes. back and bite you in the behind. It's like grief. You ignore grief for so long and then one day you just find yourself weeping and wailing. You don't know why. Mm hmm. Because you didn't take the time to, to grieve. It, yes. Yeah? Thank but, you, you know, so back, much. back to, to self. You know, again, you have to be critical of yourself to sit back and say, okay, I'm doing this well. This is not so well. And this is bad. Mm-hmm. And like you say, Claire, pick one and work on it. Yes. Like I said to you, I picked one and I'm working. I already picked one of on mine it. and I'm, we're going to get it at the end. All right. <laughs> thank you. Anyway, guys. Okay, take okay. Thanks Continue. for calling. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. See, these are what my callers and so do. They tell us as is. <laughs> you know. And you, you, the thing is, when you get comments like this, you have to put it in your pipe and smoke it because it is all about reality. It's all about changing. It says here, Be able. Your skills are like tools in your toolbox. When you equip yourself with more skills, you literally become more able to add value and contribute to others and society. That is self-explanatory. So be able. Be able. Like somebody's asking you to do something. Don't say, oh, I can't do it. And so put yourself out there. Give it a shot. You will be able to do it. Like when people say, oh, I can't do this. I have no confidence. And so give yourself the confidence. Make yourself able to do it so you will be able to do it. And when you do it, then you know to yourself, what am I wasting my, what I was I wasting my time, what I was afraid of. Learn something new. No matter how much you know, there's always new things to learn. The more you learn, the better you become. Well, Simple. That again is... Yes, self-explanatory. Self, exactly, yeah. exactly. Here is that, and that's for you too and me. Hone your current skills. Strengthen your current skills. You can never be too good at something. There's always room to improve. Even the best people in the field, such as Tiger Woods, he's in golf, Michael Jordan, basketball, and Beethoven, the pianist, never stop honing their craft. You see, 
when Michael Jordan was playing basketball, he didn't just win one game and say, you know what, I win one game or he win one championship and say, one championship, I'm, I had enough. Mm. He went for five. Yeah, and he never stopped practicing. Never stopped practicing. He was yeah. always honing his skills. Yeah. Same as Tiger. Well, Tiger had his bad back, but he's still golfing. Beethoven, nobody could play that piano as that man. And they thought he was crazy. But he was honing his skill and he never stopped. So we have to hone our concept. If we are good, and if you're a good electrician, you wouldn't say, okay, I could change a light bulb and I could put something in clear, um, how do you call that thing again? Not the meter, the, the box. What do you say? The, the, how do you call that thing? The meter? The meter? meter base. The meter base. You wouldn't just put and say, okay, you know what? I did my thing for electrician, electrician for, the, for the rest of my life. So you have to, when they have workshops, you go to those workshops because there's also always something new that comes. We're living in a computer age or washing machine or a fridge everything and if you're an electrician and you have to go fix things like that you're going to just stand up in front of you and say well what do i do now where do i start you have to hone what you have you remember i remember mr glenn neville glenn mm -hmm. used to always tell us especially in the field of skill you know like if you're in sport you say if you don't use it you're gonna you will lose, lose it, it. Of course, it's true. <laughs> never forget yeah them if you don't use it you'll lose it for <laughs> sure yeah okay be accepting of differences be it of people mm -hmm people, mindsets, lifestyle, or cultures, for they add variety and color to our lives. If everyone is the same, life will be bland, monotonous even. So, you know, you see, I laugh a lot. You laugh a lot. There are people that are serious. All this makes us all different individuals and different personality. But that makes what the variety of life is all about. Let me say good morning to my good friend, Grant. If you're driving, drive carefully, but listen to us still. We have a lot to offer. Have yourself a great day. Be flexible. Celia, Manda, that's us. <laughs> the rigid people. Be flexible. Have expectations and ideals, but be flexible about them when needed. Not everyone can perform to high expectations, and not every situation can happen perfectly. Learn when to be rigid on your ideals and when to be flexible. You see that? The word rigid and flexible, they side by side gesture. Mm -hmm. So we could be flexible. And not every time you, you do something that you say, okay, this is my way and I'm not changing it. You've got to learn to be flexible because somebody other, some other person with an idea might be able to make that work to each and every one of us advantage. Good morning to you, Donna Sandy. Hope all is well. Be adventurous, Jester. Step out of your comfort zone. Are you sticking to the same routines and hiding behind a safety net? Step out and do something you have not, that you've never done. It will broaden your mind and make you a better person. Adventure. So if you, if you never go hiking and somebody invites you to go hiking, go hiking. You will see the beauty of nature. You might see a little monkey or two while you, if you never see it while you think. You might see um, iguanas. Go do something different. Be adventurous. Put a little adventure in your life because if you don't, you'll be bored and you'll, your life is going to be monotonous. That's one way all the time. Mm, well, I could tell you straight. I, I wouldn't say I live in and go no hike to go in monks and chat, catch you. No, 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 that happening now. Yeah, I didn't see how stage. far you can go. I said <laughs> you can go hiking. You can hike from River Sally to Plains. Mm -hmm. That's a hike. I don't walk at all. Well, it's a hike. That's what you call it. You hike. You hike to get there. Say, I take a hike to get to Claire. That's hiking. Travel, Jester. Amsterdam, here we come. Traveling broadens perspectives and enriches your mind or minds. This will help you gain many insights into different cultures and, it, and enrich your perspective of the world. So if you just stay in Grenada Jester, or you just take to Grenada to New York, that's all you know. A lot of people don't know that there are a lot of places in the United States besides New York that is so beautiful. Oh, yes. That you can, you go to Vegas, you go to yeah, Boston, yeah, yeah. you go to Chicago, you go Pennsylvania to Pennsylvania. Is nice. Pennsylvania. Yeah, really nice. You go different places that, yeah. and you learn different things about that place all the time. So traveling broadens that horizon of yours. And that's why I say we're going to Amsterdam, Amsterdam. We come in <laughs> and then. Uh, you, no, no, uh, when that will be that Amsterdam. <laughs> I go in, I don't know about you. When I'm ready, listen, anytime you see I leave here to jump on a plane, oh I'm traveling forever. You know, I'm yeah. going to. You know the funny thing, I talk about Ireland the other day, and I, on my phone came up about Dublin and the castles, because this is somewhere I want to go in Ireland. And the, the phone heard me and got, gave me information about Dublin. So you see? Mm -hmm. Trouble Double F says Texas is lovely, I heard. Texas is good too. You're going to get a, a Texas burger, burger, big as, big as all get out. Yeah. yeah. 
It says, be altruistic. That's, and that means selfless and concerned for the well-being of others. Always have the best intention for others. Go for the highest good in everything you do, every decision you make, and every thought you have. That's what it is. Be altruistic, be selfless, and show concern for others. Help people along the way. Yeah, I believe it. I do that. Volunteer. Don't I? Um, let me volunteer. Try, try be honest. What you say? Be, don't I what, look out for others? That's what yes, you do. Yes, you do. I gave okay. you your flaws. You want no, me to no, give you a whole grave now? No, no, no. no. <laughs> you give me for something else. Well, you okay, yeah. Yeah. Well, when I ask you to do things, you, you cost me hands down, but you do it for me still. So, yes, I could say you do. Okay, let's move along. Volunteer for a cause you believe in. Not everything has to be measured in money. With volunteer work, you may be giving your labor for free, but this is time spent that is filled with meaning. Don't underestimate the difference you can make in others, in others' lives with just a few hours of work. And that is quite true. You see, a lot of us, we put money into everything. And again, you volunteer your time to do sports and everything like that, and that's great. And I, 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 I say kudos to you for that. Keep doing it because you make a difference in the lives of a lot of, a lot of people when you, you do your sports thing and you make it live and so on. Another person, again, is uh, Noobs. Noobs was really good at the, at the, pre, the what, inter-parish sports. Yeah. She, she can do that. And you all made it, made it real because people talked about it all the time. When they heard Noobs and they didn't know that, I said, yeah, Noobs is good like that. And you and it was, it was great. So keep at it and thank you for the volunteer work that you do to that. It says, be assertive. We get into the meat of it now. Stand up for your rights and the things you believe in. Stand up for your rights and the things you believe in. Be attentive. When someone is talking, give them your full attention. Don't busy yourself with something else. That's just being rude. And a lot of us do that, Jester. People are talking to us and do we find other things to do and we think, to be that like yeah. <laughs> Speak. We don't have a lot of time. But Open the line just so for people in to other come words, in. you need undivided attention. Yes. That's what you say. No, that's what it's saying. To be but. attentive. Like if somebody is talking to you, yeah. are you ever hear me always saying that when I'm talking to somebody, I look straight in the eye. I'm paying attention and I'm watching the, because your eye is the window to your soul. You could tell when somebody's lying or when they're telling you the truth. Be bold. Life is an adventure. Don't live it in fear. Pursue your dreams, act on your instincts, create the life you've always wanted. That's being bold. You, 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 you said I'm a bold person, so this is part of why I am bold. I've yeah. taken the adventure. Okay. Don't live in fear. Be uh, candid, be frank, outspoken, and earnest. That's what me and Snag have to work on. Say what's on your mind. Don't feel the need to censor your words because you're afraid of what others think. Be true to yourself but not at the expense of others' feelings, of course. See? Um, be caring show con and show concern. There is no need to wait for a cry for help before showing care and concern. You can do it right away, right now, to those around you. If there is something wrong, it will warm the hearts of others to know that you care. Call your friends. Are there any friends you've not contacted for a while? Call them today and check how they're doing. They may not show it, but they'll be happy you called because it shows that you care. Be coachable. There's always something we can learn from everyone, no matter the area of expertise. Don't, chose, don't close off on an opportunity to learn just because you think you know enough. Open your mind and let every encounter be a learning lesson. The moment you close yourself off is the point where you've stopped learning. Be committed to your goals and dreams. If you set a goal, go all out and achieve it. If you lay, if you lay down a, plank, a plan, stick to it all the way. Don't waver, that's not in you to do so. So don't waver, be, you have to be committed to whatever it is you do. If you're committed to exercise, exercise. Practice the golden rule. It is the ethnic of reciprocity, where it states one should treat others as one would like to be treated themselves. How you want others to treat you, show others with this behavior and you attract more of the same. And I didn't know there is a silver rule also, Jester. It says practice the silver rule. Related to the golden rule, it states do not do unto others what you would not have them do unto you. It takes up more of the short, it, it makes up more for the shortcomings of the golden rule. How you do 
How you do not want others to treat you, make sure you do not treat them this the way. Yeah. Um, I yeah. think I missed one. Let me see. That I wanted to... to miss one? Yes. Right. And this is where I'm going to get my call. Be flexible. Have expectations and ideals, but be flexible about them when needed. Yeah, so I think I did that. Not everyone can conform to high expectations. Not even every situation can happen perfectly. So I was expecting a call for that one, to be flexible. Now it says here, be courageous and overcome fear. It is very, it, is there anything you're scared of? Don't be. Fear is mental. It's only what you perceive it to be. If you challenge the things you're afraid of, you realize there's nothing to fear because there's nothing to lose. We entered this world with nothing but our consciousness. We leave this world with the same consciousness. I think that is really, really true. Oh, well, that is so obvious. Yes. So, so obvious. Let go of your anger. Is there anything or anyone you're angry with? Perhaps it's time to forgive and let things go to overcome your anger. Bury the hatchet with someone. Beyond embracing forgiveness within you, reach out to the person you can have you have grievance with in the past. This is not going to be easy, but it will bring you huge step forward. We have a call. Good morning. Good morning to you, CJ. Good and morning. Good morning to Jessica. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry this morning. Mm -hmm. That's good morning, okay. Mrs. Madison. Mm -hmm. You know when you have people. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's all your topic. But I just saying, I just phoned in to say hello to you and make you I trying to listen in between. I mm -hmm. didn't get nothing much. But I say hello to you, and you too have a wonderful, wonderful Easter. And a, and a happy Good Friday to you, a blessed Good Friday to you too. And the family, look after yourself and enjoy the Easter weekend, okay? Right. Have a nice day. Thank God you, Miss Madison. Thank you, Mrs. Madison. Yeah. Bye-bye, darling. Bye-bye. Right. We have a call, Jester. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Claire. Good morning, Jester. Good, good morning, morning to you, Miss Bean. Thanks for the kind words. Yes. No problem at so, all. Yeah, it is true, though. <laughs> 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 I wanted to um, comment on being flexible. Um, so because being flexible is the ability to be able to change easily according to the situation. Mm -hmm. So for parents, as for parents, are we willing to drop what we, whatever we're doing if our children or our child needs attention? Or do we say to the child, wait, I have to get through what I'm doing no, before I can give you that attention. I think it's better we stop what we're doing, we attend to the child or our children, and then we get back. Because whatever we're doing can wait. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we are impressing on the children, well, whatever my parents are doing, this is more important than mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So right there, we try, we, you know, we want to build self-esteem in children, and that's one way we can do it by giving them the attention that they need instead of showing them that we put emphasis on something else. And then even for um, being a, in a workplace, they're saying that um, flexibility or adaptability is one of the five um, soft skills that employers valued, and this was in 2022. Because most um, times when we go to look for a job, we don't emphasize that quality that we are adaptable, that I think you sort of mentioned it already. Mm -hmm. Instead of just doing whatever we have to do, we're willing to do other things. Mm -hmm. And especially in this environment where we have technology changing, you have to learn all the time. So you can't just stick to one thing. So that would also help us in the workplace if we're flexible or adaptable. So. Thank I just so wanted much. to say something on that point. Thank you so okay. much, my friend. Have a okay. good day. Take Thank care. you so Bye -bye. much, Lana. Yep. Yeah, the other snag. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. So it says here, bury the hatchet gesture with someone. Beyond embracing forgiveness within you, I read it again, reach out to the person you had grievances with in the past. This is not going to be easy, but it will bring you a huge step forward in your growth. So you cannot hold on to anger or anything or, and, and, and say that you, you're expecting growth. You got to let go and move on. Here's the one that is my favorite. Be honest. And people, listen up. Be honest. To lie is to shrink into a lesser self. 
To tell the truth means to take a step into your growth unless there's a higher value at stake, such as protecting someone's well-being. And I'll explain. Just if someone come to me and say, you know, I'm looking for Jester to kill him and I know where you are, I would not say. That is not lying. That is protecting you. Right? Mm -hmm. So that is what. So unless there's a higher value at stake, such as protecting someone's well-being. One of my values is truth. To discover truth through personal experience and by constantly challenging what's around me. And to be truthful in everything I say and do. So those are few who takes lying as a profession. Think about it. Every time you tell a lie, you shrink into a lesser self. Because you know you're lying to me. Just so you know you're lying to me. I know I'm lying to you. So I cannot be 100% and be honest when I know that I am lying to you. So you shrink into a lesser self. And if that doesn't change how other people feel or people feel about lying, then something is wrong with you. You want to shrink to your lesser self all the time? Stop taking lying as a profession and tell the truth. People might be angry with you when you tell the truth, you know, Jester, but at least you know is the truth you tell. As Snag say, you shoot straight from the hip and you, you don't even take no gun from the hole, so you're just shooting. He tells the truth and the truth alone is going to set you free. So when I go and sleep at night, I have no problems at all because I know in my daily days and my life and so I'm telling the truth and nothing but the truth. Have integrity. Set your moral and ethical principles and stick to them. Never compromise on them no matter what. So if you have integrity and you have ethics, morals, don't compromise on them for anybody, especially if they are what would set you free from what it is that you're doing. Stick to your integrity, your morals, and your ethics. Because once you give up that, you give up your being. As simple as that. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. Accept criticism. Someone spoke about that. If someone offers criticism, be ready to consider it. Considering it isn't the same as agreeing. You do not have to agree with criticism, but at least consider it. Every criticism has an opportunity to improve, to become better. Yeah, Mr. Snagger. Yes. Yeah. Be meditative. Those who meditate will know that meditation cultivates inner peace within you. It makes you calmer and connects you with the inner self and mental being. So if you were to choose just a, on the above to help you become a better person, which one will it be? Which one will it be just for you to choose? Mine is to continue to commit myself to growth because there's growth all around you and you have to you have to always challenge yourself to grow. So which one it will be? Anybody want to call and tell me which one you're going to be working on to be the better person? Call now. We have 10 minutes. Which one will it be for me? Accepting criticism. Yeah. You could take that, the criticism, and work on it and help you be a better person. Mm -hmm. There are two comments here. That doesn't stop them from telling lies. They have become their, that has become their profession. Another says, you are right. Telling the truth is very important. There's nothing more important than telling the truth. Call and tell us. I, which one are you going to be working on? Mine is to continue to grow. Jester said his is about criticism. Who is going to take on the challenge and to be telling the truth so that they, will, they wouldn't be the lesser self? Snag, you can call back and you always tell the truth. Because we shoot straight from the straight from there. You have eight minutes. I'm counting down. Call me and tell me, Mona, which one would you be? Which one are you working on? There are a whole lot of them. Which one are you going to be working on? I can fly by them. Commit yourself to growth. This is the one that I am going to always do. Work on your negative traits. Identify your ideal self. Find a role model. Be a role model. Be a better child to parents. Be a better friend to your friends. Be, be a better sibling if you have siblings. Be a better partner if you're attached. Be a better parent if you have children. Be a better employee if you work for someone. Be a better manager leader if you're managing others. 
It's all about being better to be a better person. And if you cannot find one right now to tell me which one you're going to be working on, think about it. You can go back and find the program and look at it and work on something. Be adventurous. You know, be whatever it is to make you a better person because it's all about making me a better person, you a better, better person, making all of us better people in society. Only one you're working on, Jester? I'll start with one. Which one? Criticism? And that too, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that too, I thought you were going to be talking about <laughs> honesty, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you talk so, about honesty. So am start, I dishonest? Start lying, oh, stop that? lying. I don't understand. Be, don't stop making uh, lying your profession. I don't understand. We have a call. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yes. I want to work on all of them. Well, that's a good way to start. Go right ahead. <clears throat> work on all of them. And when you finish working on them, meditate. And know which which one you really really want to be. The reason why I say that it don't make sense working on one. Because now when you you have to work on all one time, and you you you, you, you I think you you'll be a you'll be a faster learner. Well, that's true too. Well, continue work on all of them. Give each one of them a touch because you're going to be a better person in the long run. Thank you so very much. All right, okay. have a good day. Yes, you good? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> yes, so he's going to yeah. work on all of them. There is no wrong then. You take touch a bit because every one of them is affecting us mentally, Jester. Each and every one of them. But I chose to work on growth because I want to keep growing in my life as is. Because there is nothing wrong. The biggest room in each and every one of us, life, Jester, is the room for improvement. And with the growth comes the criticism, the adventure, the boldness, everything because you only have room to move up to grow. So that's why I chose this one, oh. to continue to grow. Oh, that's how you, from that standpoint, you have looked at it. Oh yes, I took okay. it all in. Yeah. I took it all in and you can only grow from all of them. All. To, you, you and Claire, what do you mean to comment on me that as honesty? So am I not honest? What's, what's wrong with you, girl? I didn't say, I didn't uh -uh. say you're not honest. I what are you not trying not. to insinuate then? I'm not, oh, you're using a big word. I ain't insinuating it. But you're taking serious offense with that. Well, well take offense. Wait, um, you, that is you and I. Take all the offense you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, oh, wrong wrong okay, okay uh, let me put it that way. I apology. Uh. <laughs> I don't apologize with <laughs> an apology. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. Somebody is saying is is working and staying away from people. So let me tell you something, Trouble FM, Trouble FF. You can walk against staying away from people, and that's your prerogative. You know what you've been through with people, but do not stay away from them so you could make yourself lonely and miserable. Keep them at an arm's length, figure them out, and then you know how to deal with them afterwards. Because when you stay away from people, you're actually staying away from yourself because people are going to be away from you also. So I'm not attempting to go that way. But yes, you could, you could walk and stay away from people. Maybe you have too many people in your life and maybe they're not good friends. As just say, sometimes they're acquaintances. Sometimes they're just hi, bye, how are you? And you move along. But if you have true friends, you would not want to stay away from them. So get to, get, get to know somebody. Get to know a few people really, really well. Then you don't have to stay away from people. It is four minutes. We have four minutes. Come on. Wait in. Wait in. Just so you know, nobody that you know could call and tell us what they're working on. I know nobody. You have to be following the program. Well, yes. <laughs> Mona, you, Mona, Mona, and working you, on nothing. You. Me, I working on, I working on growth, and because I, I have encompassed every one of what I, what I researched, and that's the only way you're gonna grow from all of them. All, as the man says, he's gonna take all of them, and then you're gonna be a better person after that. We have, we have a last call coming up. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, Moons. Mona, one what listening? No, not that. But I know you're going to say something, so tell me fast because news coming up right now. Well, yes, I want to grow. There you go. You're working on the same thing with me. Yeah. And that yeah. encompasses you everything. Grow, but when I'm old already, but I go try. You're yeah. never too old to learn. We learn That's something right, new girl. every That's day. That's right. Every day. That's right. Yes, sir. Miss Mona. Have a good day, boy. Yes. You as well, Inside. my dear friend. Yes. And, Claire, right. and Claire, maybe I don't hear you again. Have a happy Easter. Thank you. And continue um, doing the good work. 
Which and one? yes, that was Saturday. Please do that once God give us the breath of life. Yes, I know you'll touch We're this. We're hanging around. All right. Thank you. Uh, it is. Have a you. Thank you, you so much. Too. So, Jester, it is 10 o'clock now, and we say thank you to each and every one of you that participated in the program this morning. And hopefully, there's something that was said here, something that you can work on to make yourself a better person. Because believe me when I tell you, in the world that we're living in today, we all need to be better people to handle what we are going on with right now. And Ms. Matheson said she's working on all of them to make us grow. It is 10 o'clock. And my last word is always be kind to people because kind people are the best kind of people. Just hit it and we're gone. Bye-bye. <laughs> Enjoy Easter. Bye-bye. Be oh. safe over there. All right. Thank you so much. Triple N. Informative. Entertaining and first. Every hour on the 